Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Everyone. Uh, I just want to say we played the wrong theme song. We're going to have to re-edit that. What uh, happened? In the, in the YouTube version. Oh, okay. Uh, to put my name back in there. Oh, it shouldn't or say Mr. Midnight want, really. or I anything. It doesn't have to be my name specifically. I just think it should denote that I'm here today. Yeah. Well, just well, so I'm, people don't get confused. Featuring special Shit. guests, Derek. That, that works. works too. <clears throat> well, um, da- uh, can we film? Can we just film a new one real quick? <laughs> J- Johnny, just edit this. And that'll okay. Go I'm pi- this keeps falling over, and I'm over it. Oh. This is, you know what? Sorry, it's, we started late. Sorry, today. Uh, we, we literally we started about ten minutes ago. But Rocco uh, couldn't can't, get can't get this toy to stand. First, up. he had to go find it in his office and open it. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted this to show. This is the one figure I got at Anime Expo. I want to show it off. What is it? What yeah, is what it? is it? It's what is it? Okay, guys, it's the announcer at all the Tenkaichi Budokai. Can we get in the Dragon Ball. Ball on this, Johnny? Is that possible? To in get Dragon close? Ball. Oh, we're, we're missing that one. All right. We'll figure that out in a well, second. Well, that's cool. Yeah, this looks really cool. Well, yeah, I was stoked about it, but this thing leans like the, like the fucking Tower of Pisa. Wow. I bought that as well. Set you it up did? on Sunday when I yeah. got home from they Anime They never make Expo. figures of the can announcer. I can I, can yeah, I finish? I uh, had no problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Standing him up in oh. the display case where he belongs. Well, go Close on. the door. He's still standing. I, I don't know what the, what the this, malfunction I, is. Well, I'm up. wedging him into the stand, and it's not working. I'm telling you. Give like, him to Garrett. Garrett will be the... You no, know, he's, he's too top heavy. I wonder if right? you got a bum mold, but oh, I, come on. I'm usually impressed with the Ban Presto stuff, so I can't imagine that's what's I, going on here. I got to tell you, I think it's broken. The arms don't move. Wait a second. <laughs> Hold oh, on. Oh, Wait. Oh, 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 no. This is what I'm saying. Now, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to point fingers. I'm not going to... That's not... Oh. Is, you turn him. You turn uh, him like that. Now he's what not so the, top the, heavy. Grab, the centrifugal force of the Look, United States? You should say thank you. He did thank this you. for you. God, no thank you necessary, you guys. He doesn't have to thank me. He I'm should. Just happy the toy is operational. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a little, uh, you know, movement here. So. Oh, you can twist him. Okay, maybe that that's probably it. That's that it. is it. That's oh, literally, he's that literally stand st- That's probably it. Why do you think I had Welcome you Welcome back, thank you? Derek. <laughs> Welcome back. The toy man. Yeah, yeah, I play with toys. Now Derek's the toy. Officially, Derek is back and is now known as the toy man. New opening, please, featuring the toy man. Johnny, hit it. Not, and it, oh, not wait, me. No he, toys in my segment. It. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Fair anyway, enough. did you want to? Mm, let's put him right up. Okay. Front there. Guys, we are back in business. The to- uh, And again, he announced every uh, tournament in the in every saga, and then remember he came back for the Boo Saga. He was like, "I haven't seen you guys since, of course, the original Dragon Ball days." It looks like he's announcing Derek Acosta. He, always, he is. He's bringing you back. <laughs> he always asks if I remember. Never. What? No. <laughs> so you didn't. Re- so me? so we did all those Dragon Ball videos. And you didn't research you know, anything at all. Sean doesn't okay. know about. Okay this character because we didn't put him in the in five minutes yeah this is on you yeah but i would think you would watch the show to know what you're what's filming this guy's about. uh what's his character's name the announcer no, but what's his, i don't know they Mike? give him a name <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't Cracker. think they ever do know, actually yeah. i think on the box it just says the announcer oh he looks like a guy <laughs> let's all suggest a name for him ted ted, ted. Nah. that's a good one a little more I, eccentric i think he's his name would be dbz he'd be named uh, something like like Cho- chocolate yeah choco or something Ch- chocolate, yeah food chocolate scrape or i'm something. going with um <laughs> less nesman less uh, Nes- okay we got chocolate scrape we got less nesman Les it'd be something that is also a food so it'd be like uh not well not pan they already did the, um what about her, uh herb yeah. tarlick well which one do you want to go with less nesman or herb tarlick mm, i want to go with less nesman i think with dragon ball they would make it a word it would be like bar you know what I mean? Like, it would just be a word. I don't know what you mean. You keep asking me. No. <laughs> okay, you're Goku in those videos, you so. I know what you mean. You're Goku. I would think All right, you would. Gary, you, know you watch a lot of anime. What would you call this guy? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sticking by Ted. I feel Ted, like Ted the characters. That's the teddy bear from the mm. Mark Wahlberg movie. Oh, you're right. The taken. talking animatronic. Yeah, yeah, that was it's taken. Copyright infringement with that name. I feel like, you know, <laughs> all the main villains and heroes have like wild names after food and stuff. But then there's just like your ancillary character that's going to be like, you know, uh, Ted. All right. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment. What name do you think out of the ones we suggested? What yes. should we call this guy? Ted, 
Les Nessman, Chocolate Scrape, or... <laughs> bar. Just bar. Andy Tarling. <laughs> bar. That's another one. Okay, well, Sean has three options, so yeah, pick, pick your favorite. Sean's really mm. dipping in. He's waiting the elections. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> you know, that's his thing. Speaking of elections, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have sponsors. Do we do have that? a new sponsor this Spe- week. Yes. Want to take a moment to acknowledge our sponsors? Please, I want to find out. Okay, well, I don't have to actually have the, the copy, Jared. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, Carl Strauss Brewing Company is San Diego's original local beer and a Southern California staple. That's right. We got sponsored by a beer company. Hell now, yeah. you're probably at home thinking, well, why are these guys sponsored by beer? That has nothing to do with video games. I'll tell you why. Well, I don't know. But my theory <laughs> That's what they is sound that like too. game recognizes game. Yes. Mm. Real recognizes real. S- San Diego has two mm. kings, Mega64, the kings of the internet, and, and uh, Carl Strauss. The kings of uh, local microbreweries. Yeah. I had yeah. two uncles work at Carl Strauss. You know, so they're a family business. Two, yes. you two of my uncles have worked at Carl. You're Strauss, practically yeah. uh, an heir to the Carl Strauss fortune. Yeah, but this is legit. This sponsor is something I can go and tell like my grandpa. Hey, guess who sponsored us? And he'll be like, I know, I know, Carl. I know what this yeah. is. Wow, this Sean. is great. Friends with you Carl. finally made it, Sean. That's I'm what proud I'm saying. of you. He'll be like, I'm proud of you. Finally, yeah. crack one open to <laughs> celebrate Sean finally winning Grandpa <laughs> Chatfield's respect. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the truth of the matter is, we have we've been around for so long. When you started watching the show, you were a kid. You've probably grown up and got a career for yourself. Now that's what happened to the guys at Carl Strauss. We have internet soldiers in the building. They legitimately love Mega64 so much that they want to do a uh, collaboration with us at Comic-Con. We're going to talk more about that next week. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Because we're still working out all the juicy details. Yeah. But in case you didn't know, Carl Strauss is known for the OG Red Trolley Ale, the Sun Lager, the Tower X West Coast IPA. Those are their famous brands. They say you can check those out. They have something for everybody. Dude, the food is what I go for. It's phenomenal. Food's fucking We great. may be showing that off on a future episode yes. as well. Yes. So stay tuned. Uh, and if you want to check it out for yourself, go to carlstrauss.com and look up their beer finder because you can find uh, Carl Strauss in California, Arizona, and Nevada. Hell yeah. We yes. worked at Chili's. Red Trolley was always the number one seller for me. For real. For real. Now you can get it at the source. Yeah. Straight exactly. from the tap. Exactly. Yep. We're going to yep. put our lips on the on the main tap. <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> wheeze in the ale. So everyone who gets it. Gets a little of uh, the Mega 64 backwash. Little, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Flavor. We'll be, uh, sorry. Sorry to our sponsors. That's just an ad lib. <laughs> yeah. I threw that one in for free. Don't worry. Yeah. I was going to say, script. tune in next week for the backwash special. We'll let you know. No, we, no we'll have more. Uh, yeah. Like you said, as we get closer to Comic-Con, we're doing some stuff with them. So stay tuned for more. But also our sponsor this week. Us, the Mega sixty four well, shop, shop.mega64.com. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we have a new merch drop. Yeah, right? we just now, right? You just put on sale. Just moments ago, the Chroma Collection oh, wow. is back in stock. Uh, this has always been a fan favorite. Anytime we put it out, it goes quick. And today is no exception. It's in stock, ready to ship out. This is uh, leftover stock we had from events that we did. We had we had some at Anime Expo. We're bringing the rest to you, and it's in the store, ready to go right now. Shop.mega64.com. first come, first serve. Yes. So... Most of the shorts are already gone. Those are those shorts are my favorite. Oh, I'm not wearing them today. I was wearing them yesterday. The chromas, were, yeah, yeah, absolutely the off. best wow. like workout shorts yeah, yeah, yeah. I owned. I'm yeah. going commando now, but <laughs> yesterday <laughs> I was I had the shorts on. <laughs> You're saying shorts? That ain't short. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Anyway, uh, keep, help so us keep the lights on in here. Yes, go to please. shop.mega64.com. Pick oh, something up. Yeah, I have something to say about that later. Speaking of keeping our lights on, I'll share. I'll share a story later. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. Give you a little teaser <laughs> this for that. Exciting. Give you a little teaser for that. Um. Well, <laughs> so I'm back on the show for today, and yeah. I, you know, what have I been doing? I've been watching a lot of movies lately, and uh, I have a new favorite celebrity. Do you really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who is Who's it? that? Can I Hawk guess? Tua girl. Oh, oh, we mm. we have avoided Hawk Tua so far. I just on the podcast. I'm a fan. Uh, I want to see her in more stuff. Mm-hmm. Wait, is she appearing in movies? She's getting like deals. Um, she's uh, she's doing spokesperson gigs. She's flying. We yeah. might get her uh, to come. You know, do something with Dude, us. Kind of out, out, out in public skit. You know, Hawk Tua. People in, in on real the life. street. Hawk Tua in real life. Um, None of this fictional stuff. 
So I yeah, I've been having a good week. You guys went to Anime Expo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Dude. We can do we want I was hoping to get a day by day uh, like a play by play of what happened since the last podcast, but I guess sure. maybe we could maybe that, save that for Patreon or something. I'm, I don't know. We'll start um, with Hoktua, but <laughs> we'll get to AX. We started the important stuff. No, well, but we, we What did. do you want to know? Uh play by play. Uh let's see. I, mean, I, kinda, know it did, you, I know you it. You watched I, movies. We we figured that out. Hey, d- I, have you seen Long Legs? Or is that out? Is that a thing? Because you like horror movies. Oh, I, I'm curious. I think I'm going to see that tonight. Okay. Because well, I yeah, you said that before the show started, and I asked, "Is that out yet?" Oh, that. Oh, and so. Here's here's the here's the thing. Yeah. Whenever Trish is like, you know, my girl <laughs> is always down for a Friday night movie, but she'll kind of preemptively go like, "We're gonna go see." You know, this last month it was uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. We're gonna go see Apes tonight, and it was like, okay, cool. We go to the theater. Yeah, it's not out. You didn't right. Google that first. <laughs> no, no. Next week. All right, same thing. You know, uh, this, this Friday. The, the, the uh, craziest we're part is, our ape on. Who's and in then, charge of booking these uh, events? Well, we have Regal like Unlimited, so you just show up and you whatever movie time. You don't time. check the uh, movie time? No, we just go. Why not? <laughs> it turns out Why not? every half hour. Does literally any of us on the planet not check the movie time? Well, I mean, we do, but not like when we make plans in the morning before I leave for work, right? But you She's going to like check it at the time. At the, the ticket? Wait, food? yeah. So if no, the movie's leave, not out yet, what time do you go to the theater? Well, well, no. We check before we leave the house. I'm uh, sorry, you misunderstand. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. so you're at the uh, house okay. still, and yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. It's time to go. Let's see the this next morning. I was told, "Yo, we're gonna go see Long Legs tonight," and I'm like, "Great!" So I'm telling all you guys here. Yeah. But now I'm having flashbacks to for three weeks. I got home from work. It's like, <clears throat> so apes tonight, and she's like, "It's out next week." I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I googled it. Long Legs so, is playing tonight. Okay, okay. Good, all right, good, good, you good, are good. good. So you're I good. am going tonight. You are good. Um, I don't know anything about this movie, but the advertising for it is annoying me and Why? really because it's all like this like visceral like trying to scare you stuff which is fine i yeah. guess but it's like I, I don't know i don't know the actress's name in this i'm sorry but let's i believe it's um hawk to a girl okay let's yeah, say let's say it. it's hawk to a girl yeah Kendra the ad was like hawk to a girl didn't see nicholas cage in long legs until the cameras are rolling this audio is her actual heartbeat while filming the first scene with nicholas cage seeing him for the first time yeah and then it's a it's like this is fucking dumb this is stupid yeah but it's like and then it shows like her looking at him and then it cuts to him and there's a square over his face so you can't see what he looks like it's like oh. fuck you yeah they're fuck doing he did, he did another face off yeah <laughs> i don't know uh, well dude you gotta pay to see it yeah uh, it seems dumb you gotta pay to um, see it. i do want to uh flash back to the uh what you were saying garrett about um not knowing when movies came out no oh, yeah garrett you may not have been aware of this conversation but there is one that i distinctly remember in uh you know ver- when movie theaters finally started opening back up uh-huh. There was literally a day where I remember you were here and you're getting stuff ready. Yeah, I'm excited. We're getting out of here. Me and me and my girl going to see Black Widow tonight. We, the movie theater. That was a long time. Movie ago. theaters are back. Black. We're going to see Black Widow, and I was like, "That's out in like a month." Nope. We're going to see it tonight. <laughs> nope. Me and my girl already got plans. Black Widow, and I remember you walking Sounds out, like and me. I was showing. Yeah, was he saying it like? That? And Sounds I was exactly showing, like. I was showing Black Widow. Black Widow. We, me and the girl going to long O. And I'm showing Kevin my phone, and it's like, it was like June 6th, and I'm showing it. It opens July 15th. I'm like <laughs> showing that. Nope, no, uh, no. We have tickets tonight. Black <laughs> Widow. I just remember you were so excited about it. And you I was make like, me sound like a I think you should leave character. Black <laughs> Widow. Black Widow. I'm a Black Widow fan boy. Me and the lady all on the town paint the town black for the but widow. You were so excited and I did I, I felt I like didn't want to ruin that. So I was like, well, you'll you'll find out. Why was and I excited for that piece of shit? I, but I think <laughs> you we were, like Marvel we were, movies. But we were honestly yeah, yeah, we were all excited to go back to Go into the movie theater. They oh, that's been true. Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, that, that and the uh, Fast 10 or whatever, I think were kind of the ones that we, I, at least I was the, w- among the first to go back. Go and back see. to the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I remember seeing Black Widow with like you, a bunch of us went. I think even Kevin and Rachel went. And you, normally, I, I, it was a group that normally we're not going to see Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah. But I think we were just all excited to like, wow, well, we're here and there's popcorn. You know what I mean? It was fun in that regard, but I'll never, ever watch that movie. Black <laughs> Widow. Me and my Black girl Widow. going to see Black Widow. Um, that's how he heard it. Yeah. You could yeah. have said yeah. it differently, but I, that's I, how I it know, comes that's across my interpretation. That's the me inside his mind. You know, it's like Shinji thinking about how all the Ava girls. Exactly. 
yeah. see him. There, there's exactly <laughs> that's exactly the comparison. The me in Rocco's mind talks like that. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, yeah. So uh, to go back to what we were saying this past week, we were at Anime Expo. We're back now. I feel like I just now caught up on resting from it. I feel oh, like really? I'm still pretty tired. Yeah, everyone, even a couple days ago, I was like, "Oh man!" Everyone at work <laughs> uh, yesterday, Derek can attest to this. But when we saw you guys, oh, walk you in, were all sick. Yeah, they were all like, "Oh no, it's no. allergies." I got allergies, but it was four people who were all at anime was so saying they had allergies at the was same it, time. It's like, <laughs> wait, I, it was it just me at no. all. Well, that? see this, the, you, now we're experiencing it live now. I okay. literally cleaned my house all day Wednesday and was in a dust nightmare. So I was just kind of <laughs> like okay, that. So we have rock over there. Oh, I didn't know everyone else was. Garrett. I, I, I apologize to you guys because I could not stop my nose from running. Yeah, yeah. you were allergy fucked up. So, okay, similar symptoms. Okay, okay. Kevin. Now, Kevin was like, hey, yesterday, I just like I was exhausted. I, I laid down all day. I'm feeling, I'm feeling better now, but I was just fucked up yesterday. It's like, okay. And then Johnny was a little, what did you say, Johnny? There's something going. Johnny was he was exhausted good? too. Yeah, but I, I masked the whole time at Anime Expo. So you I did, great but right you, you were still fucked up a little oh, bit. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and like, and so me and Derek were just like, and Meg were like, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all caught the con Y'all were, y all were paranoid. I, con I was fine after an hour of being here. I was, I was sniffly from dust, and I was here sniffing for an hour. And all day long, I was getting, no, nah, I'm getting sick vibes from you. I'm getting sick vibes. It's like, I'm fine. I feel fine. I feel fine. You were sniffling for an hour. Yeah. Well, and then it was that, over. That gives sick vibes. And then it was over. A straight hour. Of <laughs> if, I, if I felt sick at all, I wouldn't have come in. <sighs> Oh god! No, it was just sniffing. You have just, like uh, supercharged dust particles at your house. Or I was something. I was like deep cleaning a million things at my house. Yeah. I had a day off, and I was like, "That's how I'm gonna." Which is spend fine. It. It's fine, but it was four people mm -hmm. who were all at Anime Expo. It seems yeah. suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> we were just like, "I don't okay." You know, everyone's like, "I don't have I don't have COVID." I think you should trust their words. I don't have COVID. But, um, but no, they all definitely got COVID. For, no, <laughs> they, you no, all did. Don't say that. I and, know. Uh, I know multiple people that all were heading to anime. I don't know anyone who had it there or got it there, but I do know m many people who, on the way to Anime Expo, went never mind and they didn't go. I know mm -hmm. a ton of people last week, last mm -hmm. week who got COVID all over the country, sure. and what? it all started with, "It's not COVID." <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's just my throat. Yeah. My throat hurts. I tested. It's not COVID. And then three days later. Yeah, I got cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just so wrecked right now. Do you guys I, think I have, I'm sick right now though? No. But hold on. Give us uh something yeah. to just <laughs> No, you're good. Okay, good. good. <laughs> you're good. You're healthy. Uh, because you know, honestly, like I got back from AX on Sunday. It was like three days, four days later when, mm -hmm. when I was just having bad allergies. Sure. I also lost my voice at the con. So but you do, it's though. not helping my Every, case. No, but that is a... Well, you've seen me with allergies before. It was... Well, also... But I wasn't tired or, like, exhausted. After every con, you lose your voice. That's just what... that We know this about you. Yeah, I That's scream my new. head off at the panel, and, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always a little extra. So, uh, yeah, we did... I want to say thank you to everybody who came out. Uh, the booth was a success. The panel went... I thought was awesome. I had yeah. so much fun at the panel. Um, and and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, we cosplayed, um, as always. Um, and cosplayers came out yes. the same week. Yes, we had a new cosplayers video Good come launch. out. We showed it at the panel yeah. for the first time, and then now it's on YouTube. World so go premiere. check that out. If you yeah. What's the subtitle it. this this time around? Cosplayers Absolute Disgrace. <laughs> I feel like it's uh, there's a trajectory that it was on. Oh, mm -hmm. this one? Well, just when you look, what 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 are all the cosplayers' name? Do you remember oh, off the top that, of your head? That's Co wild. If you do, uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, there's okay. a lot of them. The first, okay, cosplayers, right? Cosplayers, beyond. Uh, strike a pose. Uh, cosplayers, dance fantastic. Okay. Cosplayers, mascos magnificos. <laughs> okay. Cosplayers, dance beyond. Did I ever see dance beyond death? No. no. Dance beyond death. Cosplayers. Oh no! You got this. You got God. This. Cosplayers, uh, battle of sex gods. <laughs> <laughs> That's Cos like fucking <laughs> cosplayers. <laughs> oh shit! The sex gods. Cosplayer. Oh How no! How many are there? Talking about Chris oh, Jericho nickname. Uh, uh, thir 13, 14. There's really 13? that many cosplayers. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, we've been around a long time. Wow. There's, there are a lot. Dude. Okay, right. wait. Uh, Battle of Sex Gods. Cosplayer. Uh, I already said Mascos Magnificos. Uh, yeah. Cosplayers. Uh, last year was The Bitches Back. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's one. a good one. Because it had, it had been gone for a long time. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. They start with like uh, Strike a Pose. Yeah. Mascos Magnificos. And then over time, it's The Bitches Back. Battle. And then now it's Absolute Disgrace. I just feel like there's <laughs> it's a. negative. There's a stank that's developing with the. Yeah. Mm. With the uh, way you deliver the the cosplayers. Uh, well, I always thought it would be fun to give these videos a theme. Like, okay, if, we're, if I'm going to keep doing these, let's give it a theme. So like this one, it's like we all have lucha masks and it's kind of Spanish, the, you know, right. or uh, strike a pose and it's all like photography themed. Mm -hmm. yes. But then after doing it for a while, then I started to go the reverse with like, fuck logic. Fighting like themes. no, no logic to this whatsoever. I do think so it's this, the first thing that comes to mind. I do think this one is the most unhinged cosplayers yeah. <laughs> ever produced. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know, we... That's good to know, actually. I you you uh, kind of handle cosplayers on your own. I think you have fun doing it. Sometimes mm -hmm. we'll come in and give you, oh, that's good. Oh, you know, oh, mm -hmm. here's a suggestion. But this one was just like, you locked yourself in a room and produced <laughs> this one. Yeah. Yeah. So I watched it for the first time when it was on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I watched it the first time uh, at the panel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No criticism. I don't have any critique or criticism other than like this one was bonkers. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, it's so funny because I'm always as it leads up to anime. Oh, oh, can I say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I started it and then I I was like, what the fuck? And I logged into YouTube because I wasn't <laughs> logged in. <laughs> and then I played it again and then I paused it and I was like, why are why is there a fucking pre-roll on this video? And I kept, I backed out and refreshed it like five times. Whoa. And then I was like, motherfucker, this is how the video starts. Like I thought <laughs> sports highlights. Dude, I thought my pr YouTube premium account got canceled. I was like, why are they forcing me to watch pre-roll for this? That's awesome. So be warned, that's part of the video. Uh, it yeah. works. <laughs> Putting it on. I, yeah, I, th I just thought, like, okay, if we're showing this at Anime Expo for the first time, you could say, like, I've got a video just for you guys and it being sports. Yeah. Which is like, all right, Funny, cool. Yeah. That'll, that'll hit. But. Yeah, but that confused me on the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, there was also um, the ending of it. Oh, well, so I just want to say, like, yeah. leading up to Anime Expo, I always am trying to not, like, I don't want to be up all night doing stuff. You know, I want to be well-rested for the con. Wait, wait. Like that. You, you want that? I want that. Oh. But then, that ever but then I'm I've never on, experienced but, this. But then I'm working on <laughs> this. But then I'm working on <laughs> it, the... It never happens. It, no, it never does. And then I'm working on cosplayers, though, and I'm like, yeah, I should go to bed. But if I push through, that's when you get... Yes. That's when you... Cosplayers is the one video that you want to wake up and go, oh no, why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Any other video, that's bad. But with you this, put yourself good. in an altered state to edit yeah. cosplayers. So I purposely, I purposely will stay up and go crazy and then export that. Then we're watching the next time I saw it, we're watching it at the panel, and I'm like, <laughs> damn, this is on the Batman Arkham Asylum graphic for a long time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, that fuck. Like, and I started to feel bad, but then I'm like, no, no, no. Push through that. Upload. It's That's like, like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Yeah. 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 It was like Mr. Hyde edited yeah. the video, and then you're the sober Dr. Jekyll. Like, what? What did he do? Oh, it's, that monster. A exactly lot of times right. people to be creative do drugs, but Rocco doesn't do that. He just doesn't Deprivation, sleep. dude. Yeah, he just won't sleep, yeah, and then it's the same method. Yeah, because I think there's something to be said about torture. Yeah. Rocco. <laughs> Suffering. Rocco drugs. Just the drugs is just not don't sleep. don't sleep. Uh, well, anyway, so yeah, we we showed that there. Um, it was, uh, you know, I, I was just going to say in general, Anime Expo was. It's very different every year, and a lot, of, and it alternates. There are years you go to Anime Expo and it's smooth, and then you go another year and it's like, oh, there's no one at the wheel at this yeah, con. Yeah, um, <laughs> they made big improvements this year. I think if you went as an attendee, it was very clear, like. I, and they told me months ago, they were like, we're reorganizing the the exhibit hall. We're going to make it so that like these big exhibitors, which it was, it would, it looked like anime E3. I felt like it was crazy. It was the yeah. first convention I've been to that felt like before COVID. Yeah. It was right? a very pre COVID convention. And I remember them telling me months ago, they were like, yeah, we reorganized the show floor where it's not just these big booths right at the front and then a bunch of small ones. We redistributed the whole hall where it's kind of all these big nice. pavilions. <clears throat> Shuffled the deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and some of the smaller booths got their own area downstairs, but you say that some, like it's a positive. Well, I sometimes it can be. 
sometimes it can be because I know at PAX they did that at one point sure. where it's like, oh, let's put all the companies like Microsoft on this floor and put all the indies upstairs. And I remember being bummed we got moved up there. Like, oh, we're they moved us. But then once we moved there, it was like, oh, people when they come up here kind of know. The, you know what I mean? This They're not. Spend, it's not people stuff. looking for Xbox games. It's people looking for stuff like this. When you're us. in an area yeah, like that, nice. you get the second wave of yeah. like day one. Mm-hmm. Nobody's at your booth, and you feel like, mm-hmm. where the fuck did they put us? Yeah, yeah, totally. But, but then everybody experiences the main hall or gets turned off to it. Like I'm not waiting in these lines. Yeah, let's go explore the rest of the convention, and they discover you. And then I feel like you have a stronger showing in the yes. last few <laughs> days. When you're in those uh, hard to discover spots, yeah, yeah and I and I kind of feel like uh, not you know not to toot our, toot our own horn, but beep beep, you know, um, <laughs> we're we're kind of it make it allows you to be a bigger fish in a small pond as opposed yeah. to oh, when your sure. booth when alpha you, fish. There you go. When your booth is next to PlayStation, it's harder to like get attention. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. uh, but I always think we have a great booth at Anime Expo. But however, I will say. We weren't moved at AMA Expo. They kept us in the show floor with all the big booths. We were one of the um, grandfathered in kind of like, you know, you've been with the con a long time. Mm-hmm. Us and Game Grumps, we were back to back Yeah, at the show. We made it to the upper echelon. So Toei Animation, Suck you know, Crunchyroll. Oh, no, no, I mean, they were all on the same floor as us. Oh, so they, oh we, I thought they were in the small well, we could, but we, could, hentai, we were, bad, we were sucking it and eating it with them. The hentai yeah. Derek, though. Where was that? Yeah. Shuffled down to uh, Buffalo. So so no. Faku is, me? is the biggest booth of that nature. Oh, yeah. I thought you said the hentai Derek. And I was like, did somebody oh, license oh. me? And uh, I wasn't aware damn, of it. That's it. Not a, that's no, a hentai. They, they moved, debuted hentai Derek so soon. <laughs> they have, that wasn't uh, meant to be shown yet. They have, for the first time, separated the 18 and up uh, content to yeah. uh, an area on the lower it floor. Got its own, oh. It got its own hall. Yeah, oh, nice. I'm just going down there. It's uh, it's now down there with the Artist Alley they and some should, of the other booths. They should have it where it's a gigantic bead curtain you have to walk through. I'm just tired like of this. All oh, like the old video <laughs> stores? Video stores I'm tired of this day. Goku stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Yeah, our friends at Faco had uh, both uh, upstairs booth and oh, one downstairs. Yeah, and they so on the main show floor, they were there, but they it was only like, you know, PG stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what they told, we have a friend who works there, Harris, and he told us that the entire day at that booth is going, no, that's downstairs. Yeah. No, that's downstairs. <laughs> Here's a map. Oh, I want this and this, and this. That's downstairs. They printed maps. <laughs> yeah. To give people. So that Go was kind of funny. Uh, I would say the whole, but anyway, so they redistributed everything for better crowd flow. And I think it worked. I think it's safe to say it worked across the board. The only issue we had, and I'm sorry if anybody had to see this, was I did hear about some issues with getting to panels in terms of, again, like, you know, it's a lot of volunteers running line stuff. So it was a lot of like, oh, the line's here. Oh, it's actually not. It's over there. You know, oh, okay. Confusion with that. But we were on the way to our panel and and we were stopped. It was a busy hallway and we were literally stopped like, uh, no, the line. there's a line outside. Yeah, it was, it was, a, like, it, was a, oh, it was on a sky bridge. So there was no other way around this. That sigh yeah. tells me you made a new enemy. It, yeah. it was. Yeah. We want to talk to, about it. <laughs> it was. It was, this is the only issue we had the whole weekend. Now, I want the play by play. So you're walking up to the panel, yeah. walk up to the panel, and then this guy stops us. Okay. S- stop. Who does he stop first? All of us. Me, the Rocco. Whole group. And we had a bunch of uh, All of us. And then like Mariel was with us. You know, like yeah. it was like everyone. Yeah. Johnny, okay. Kevin. And then stop. Uh, this is uh, the line for the panel. The line you want is outside. Oh no, we're in the panel. We need to get to get to the room. We start in. I think it was like five minutes or so. It was not. It was not fifteen l- minutes, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But we okay. need to set up all our videos. But we're let, he's like we're letting people in right now. I'm like okay. And then so he just like walks away and like everyone's Dismisses standing us. and we're like okay. I was just like oh, yeah. I told just, you what yeah, to get do. Out. Go, do go out. Yeah, go yeah. outside to get in line. And it's like I. And making people line up outside, that's hot. That's why I said, too. It was hot. But then, so he started letting people go. And then, so it's like, we're waiting for five minutes and people are just walking through. And I'm just like, we're going to we're gonna be late. Like, I don't know what is happening, but he's letting, like, this other line go through. But no one else can use the Sky Bridge at this time. It is shut yeah. down. And so, Rocco, you want to tell me what you, you decided well, to do? Well, you did, you did skip past the back and forth about eight times of where we are the next panel. Yeah. Right. The lines outside. Yeah. But no. But we are on stage. We are. We are running that panel. Right. The line is outside. And You're not hearing. And I say, like, do we? Do we have to get in line to go to our own panel? Like it's our panel. <laughs> it's our panel. Like, yeah. And then he starts getting upset, and I just go, I, I just want you to tell me what to do, sir. Yeah. Like, yeah. what do I have to do? Yeah. You tell me what to do. 
And he's like, stay here. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll stay here. So now we're all just standing. And so we're waiting and waiting and waiting yes. and waiting. And are you getting mad? Of course. Oh, okay. yeah, of course. I just wanna, I, uh, <laughs> you're leaving that part out of the story. Sorry. But, then in the, but then in that moment, I flashed back, you know, and I want to give a shout out because we did talk uh, about rooster teeth at our panel. We, we didn't need to get into what we shared about that. That's private. But I flashed back to our, I'm going to give a shout out to our friends at Rooster. I had a flashback in that moment. Yeah. He said, wait here. And it's like, what? We have to set this up. And then I had a flashback to Anime Expo 2008, mm -hmm. where there was a, boot, a room that had all of our badges in it. And I needed to pick them up for everybody. And the person at the door said, no, you need a badge to get in here. And it was like, well, they're, they're in the room. We have uh, a conundrum here. <laughs> yeah. And I remember running into Gus from Rooster Teeth, and he said, you know, sometimes you just have to completely ignore what anyone is saying to you. And I was like, life advice. That's life advice. So, yeah, we just, so I, I just went, ah, no, I, no, I got to go this way. So Rocco just went, <laughs> and then we watched Rocco disappear into the sea, people. And the guy, I think he was like, Fix, he fixated on me because I was one communicating for the group. Yeah, like, what yeah. do you, what you do we do? So he's in, looking yeah. at me, it's like, wait, wait. I'm like, and then so I said, everyone, if we all go, He's not going to stop Sean us. Sean led the charge. Can't and stop so all of us. It was a, I had a charge of 55 people who were all way behind us. Like, <laughs> we're going. And so we just like went. And the guy's like, stop, stop, stop. I'm like, we're, I, it's going to be a problem <laughs> if I'm late. I can't yeah. be late. So we always went. Also, for the record, I don't think our, the line for our panel was outside. I, that, that was I, a line for something we, else. Yeah, once he we got into He was confused and yeah. he wasn't listening to what we were trying yeah. to explain. One, he was just told to line up a bunch of people <laughs> yeah. on the sky bridge and don't let anyone through. So yeah, because once we got in, I saw a, a big line for our panel in there. And I was like, oh, you're yeah, all in, in here. You're not outside. Yeah. And, and honestly, it's like, hey, man, if you want to arrest me, go ahead. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, this is like, <laughs> the volunteers I believe going well, through the sky I bridge. believe uh, Gus's words when he did. So Gus was just back then charging through rooms even when they told him to stop yeah and i believe his exact quote was just call the police then <laughs> yeah. um, i didn't say that i didn't say that but uh, i do remember his tactics and i and i want to give a shout out yeah you know, you know we it took me back we love the volunteer staff yes it's just you know they do a lot better when they're paid I, well no uh, let's just face i it. just feel like sometimes <laughs> They'd be better if they weren't anybody. volunteers yeah <laughs> like hey, anime expo's always had this though yeah oh, this yeah. guy comic-con is volunteers too you were you saying Sean? he was in charge of the sky bridge yeah, yeah. and maybe that was a bad job you know he lost control yeah the he, sky bridge has been compromised <laughs> yes <laughs> he should have been in charge of lanyards oh they, wait they didn't have any lanyards. posted one guy to take on 200 people to sky bridge yeah it was it was a crazy situation i i don't have really any any complaints i always have fun at anime expo it's me a too miracle. i had a great time t so, totally it's a miracle they pull it off as well as they do with how big it is and how it keeps growing every year mm. and yeah i thought they kind of organized the traffic at least upstairs was better yeah now i heard down in the sh you know uh, uh the 18 and up oh and okay it was the, kind of a mess the smaller show floor and oh, the it, artist they alley. Got messy it was very tight <laughs> but i've heard it's been tight down there for years honestly yeah. i haven't been down there in years my my only gripe is like they change the exhibitor entrance yes every, every year yes so the first day of the con is always like well i guess i'll search for a way in yeah. through the crowds because it's never in the same spot yeah uh and that's one thing that i think we're spoiled by by san diego comic-con has had like the same team for 30 plus year 30 yeah. something years and so when you go it is i mean oh my god it's identical to the way operations were when we started going in the early 2000s yeah like you know what door to go through yeah. when to do this when where to and do that an exhibitor badge will pretty much get you in any door yeah yeah on. yeah and if not they'll be like hey not this one but that one right there they'll yeah. just point you right where you need to go yeah yeah so just interesting to to see that but yeah it, but in general though very smooth at ax this year uh comparatively yeah um but anyway uh so we did our panel i just want to bring up real quick so my plan going into the show this year was, um, you know, again, we always cosplay. Your guys' cosplays are awesome, by the way. Mm. Garrett. Oh, thank you. I G see a lot of people online talking about Dr. Respect. Oh, yes. yeah? I see a lot of praise for oh, Dr. Good. Respect. It came right off the dome. I honestly could not remember. I'm, I'm almost positive I pulled a costume together in previous years for Dr. Mm -hmm. Respect. Mm -hmm. And then, like, last minute, switched it and found something fun. I like think different. so too. 
Yeah, I think what you were. I saw a picture of you this year, and it was kind of iconic. It looked like (laughs) every crazy mad scientist (laughs) cobbled into one. Mm -hmm. You had the you know Doc McBrown vibes. (laughs) Okay. You had Doctor White. Doctor Wiley Wiley vibes. Oh yeah, Doctor Wiley. It was was like so uh, you know reminiscent of so many classic archetypal characters. Yeah. Yeah, I think you just hit a home run with that one. I think the timing is really great too for that (laughs) pun. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. uh, and for those that don't know, I, I I had a catchphrase that really put the cherry on top, where I screamed during our panel into a, a, a megaphone, and I never whisper. So that was I thought that was the most iconic. He had, I think he you know, had to explain that to me later. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> Sean got it. I don't I, get that. One. I had like ten ten people over the course of that day go. Hey, what did that mean? He never whispers. Am I missing like a joke there? See? I'm like, oh, you got some oh. things to Google. See? What could what did, I don't understand it. There's a there was a whisper feature on Twitch to talk to your viewers. Some it's viewers may be using it now. And uh Dr. Disrespect, you might want to Google what he did with that. He used it. He was whispering. <laughs> He's Googling See now, now right I now. would just never assume that the whisper or the poke <laughs> feature on Facebook or any of that poke. shit's encrypted. Yeah, why like, do they call that shit? Why would you ever do any of those things? Whisper or thinking poke? that that's private. It's got a better name than this. Doctor disrespect whispers leak. Apparently, like in every employee at Twitch just can look at what you're whispering. Especially well, if you're a big account, they manage. You can look at like my whispers because I don't know what it is, so yeah. I'm not using that. Johnny, feature. ever use a whisper feature up there? Hell no. Oh, is it gone or, or after maybe? now? No, after now this, it's gone. They should have just had no. shout. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's all uh, caps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's a long document there. Um, <laughs> you have to read that so, later. But uh, so that that cosplay was awesome. Uh, I, Sean, what was your? Mine your, was. I got a polite golf clap for my costume, which is fine. Sometimes <laughs> you don't hit a home run, but uh, I wanted to dress like a hippie version of James Bond. Oh, and have yeah. my name be Peace Bondable. No, that was really <laughs> good for the Anime Expo crowd. Yeah, that's that, what I thought. That, I thought well, it hit the 10% that were cosplaying in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that's who you need. You know? I I went extra with the costume. Like, well, it's, I, I should get my, ri- I want the bracelet, the Peace Bondable bracelet on my, so I went to the weapons check <laughs> and I was like, hey, this is really dumb, but can I get a Peace Bondable thing on my wrist? And the guy looks so annoyed. And this is the instance where I'm the asshole. Like I'm the <laughs> one who, like, I realized like, yeah, this is, I'm sorry. But I'm like, I'm doing a panel later and it's a cosplay. Can I just get it on my arm? He's like, yeah, because you want uh, us to uh, verify that these guns are okay. And do a little flexing. I'm like, no. He's like, well, that's what people usually say to me. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I don't want to be lumped in with that crowd. Uh, this is just for <laughs> another. This is dumb, though. This is also dumb. But I'm not saying that my arms are weapons. Um, <laughs> can I please get the thing? It's like, okay. And he gave it to me like begrudgingly. But I did feel like an asshole. Yeah. And it, <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Yeah. And Rocco, you, I mean, you, I, you were the guy from the game. And yeah. you what's his great. name? What's his name? I just want, I, me? I just want, yeah. Coco Ishibanya? Uh, oh my that's, God. That's not far off. Actually, we had that for, we had that for lunch at the booth one. Yeah. Day. That, that was, was pretty good. good. Um, <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, by, by the way, too, while Sean's cosplay was excellent, we were missing um, some great reactions from Derek looking at his laptop, but that, that, that's, another, <laughs> that's another story. Um, He's reading up on a I mean, disrespect. The I don't think here. I can repeat what ha- what I read on this show. OK, fair enough. So fair and enough. I'm not going to. You don't, yeah, we don't need to whisper. But, so and I just um, to reiterate, I wasn't cosplaying as that. I was the opposite of that. Yes, the yeah. exact. Yeah, I think it, hope so. I think it was clear to everyone <laughs> in every there. way. Okay, I, good. Uh, but uh, Doctor Respect, who doesn't whisper? <laughs> yes, versus yeah. the other guy who yeah. does yeah, apparently uh, inappropriately. Um, well, so uh, my plan going into the convention was, I always think it's fun to like we we cosplay stupid made up stuff every year, but yeah. I was like. I like sometimes going as like, oh, you went as a real character this year, you know, and like, oh, Gen- I'm Gendo Akari. Oh, you okay? Uh, we had a costume for Ichiban from Yakuza, like a dragon, uh, that was made for um, a video, and it was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wear that. I think that'd be fun just to wear that anime expo. And then coincidentally, we got invited to. They did a like a dragon event at Anime Expo. They did a whole event where the the voice actor who played Ichiban was going to be there, the producer of the game, it was a huge Sega sponsored event, and they invited us to go. So I was like, that's perfect. I'm already going to be wearing the damn costume. This is going to be fun. Nice. So we all got on the list for that. Can't wait. 
And then like two days before the event, they emailed me, hey, so you're still coming, right? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you want to be more involved? You want to get more involved? Oh, well, yeah. Ooh, yes. What is it like? Hosting it or th- I don't I mean, I don't know. So I'm like, whatever it is, I'm Hosting. in. Sounds wow. fun. I'm already coming. So and I'll be in costume. Sounds good. And then they email me back. Okay, here's the song you're gonna be doing. Uh, here's uh, what time to be there. Here's what I'm sorry, what a song? <laughs> They're like, yeah, it's gonna be karaoke. And uh, yeah, you're doing Baka Mitai. You're from which here. is a kar- karaoke song. I'm like, it's well, it's not in English. Mm. <laughs> They're like, no, it's in Japanese. Just do it at the thing and it'll be fun. I'm like, so I got so ner- I'm I'm not you know when it's something took, on stage they did all the work for you because usually in karaoke you're like oh, I don't want to volunteer what song yeah, am I yeah, yeah. That's sing true. now they're like yeah. here you're going here's, here's your, your song. song different well, language go ahead so yeah they're like no you're gonna go on stage two other people are gonna do this too and then uh you know and I had just beaten the new like a dragon game so right. and which was oh. a, it, the game was awesome so it's, you knew the song it's fresh on my mind I I didn't know this I I knew of it but I didn't know the words. Uh, they weren't in English, but um, it was fresh on my mind. And they're like, yes, yeah, so you're going to do this on stage. Uh, uh, oh, and the guy who plays the main character is going to be on stage. The Japanese actor is going to be there yeah. with you, and he's going to judge how you did. So is the producer of the game. They're going to tell you how you did. I'm like, what the? This is like actors, gamers nightmare. <laughs> what is happening? I just beat. I literally credits rolled, and they emailed me so- that. Yeah, it's not a gaming what? contest. It's a karaoke also, contest. Why do they judge? This is the most low yeah. stakes karaoke. They're gonna have. Is there a, we're gonna have two people judge your karaoke. Is there what a the prize fuck? for this? <laughs> yeah, so there was. Yeah, oh, there was oh, a, tro- oh. a special trophy. Ooh. And uh, did, you, did you win? I did not win. Ah! Uh, but here, but let me tell you. Let me tell you, dude. They made him go Rick. first too. Oh, first of no. all, first of all, so threw you under the bus. I was repeating in the. I had a long drive and all that stuff repeating it over and over again. Oh, it was, I was in my car. He just knows it now. He does. You know, I, wow. I, it was only like a minute and a half good. of whatever. So yeah. I was, I give again you the trophy. Again. Thank you. So then I get there. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like shitting bricks about this. Yeah. Get to the event and yeah, I'm in costume and it's like, okay, so we have a famous Japanese wrestler here. Mm-hmm. And oh oh she she's dressed as the same character by the way dude three time women's world champion what mm. was it Sheeta Hikaru Sheeta was there so I go backstage <laughs> wow. and it's, oh, it's now, me. now I'd be nervous <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's me and her saying. and shock she knows Japanese oh, yeah <laughs> she is Japanese so it's like oh yeah she's gonna do uh, another song and then there uh, there's a streamer here she's gonna do another song. And uh, anyway, you're going first. And I'm like, what? And so I had to do this song. Not only again, is it not in English, but I don't have my part of my cosplay. I don't have my glasses that, on. I didn't even think about oh, that. God. You told me that yesterday and I went, oh, to work. yeah. So they they play a karaoke video, but I'm like, going off memory, mostly, mostly memory. And then, and then let me tell you why I fucked up too. I want to say thank you to Sean because he helped me with this, but I wanted to have a visual prop. Yeah, because uh, when Kiryu in the game sings the song at one in one of the games, he's looking at a pic. You think he's looking at like a picture of a woman or he's singing longingly about a lover, but it's a picture of his like Corgi. Mm -hmm. It's like a dog. (laughs) So I was like, Sean, if you're at home, he was coming up that day. Yeah. Print me that a picture of that dog. So I had it on hand. And so I'm like, during the most passionate part, I'm going to rip out the picture and show the dog. That'll be that'll be a hit. Nice. And I'm fucking scrambling to get it out of my jacket as I'm trying to sing Japanese and get it unfolded. And then I have it and I show it. And apparently like the front row could see it was a dog. Yeah. Everyone else is like, that's funny. You had to look up the lyrics. That was funny. I'm like, I didn't oh, have to look up the lyrics. I practiced this no. thing, but they thought it was funny. Yeah, I guess. But the whole night I'm just like, hey, you know, you didn't know the lyrics. That's okay. Some everyone has to pull that out sometime. I'm like, it wasn't the fucking lyrics. You know what, though? It was the dog. Objectively, Mm -hmm. that is funny. You don't speak Japanese and you have a cheat sheet. (laughs) You're pulling it out in the. (laughs) (laughs) What's important? Own it, you know. Well, good to hear because that, that I was like, damn. The What's producers that? and the voice actor of Ichiban both saw the Chibu and started they cracking. Did, they up. did laugh at that. So okay. I, I was happy. I got yeah. them. The target they saw the dog I, picture. And they I were wasn't at home. My printer at home is broken. So I was at my dad's for dinner. And so I just like <laughs> hacked into some printer without him knowing and printed out like a copy of this. <laughs> and so I printed it, trying to be all sneaky about it. And my dad's like, What are you doing? Like I was in his office. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm. 
printed them in Paraco. Sorry, I guess I could have asked. I just didn't think it matters. Like, it's fine. What is it? And so I showed him. So then he takes it and shows my entire family. Like, oh, you guys show us printing in the office. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> just trying to roast you. It was yeah. a Shiba Inu, but I think. Now I'm getting text from my family. Why did you? Why did Rocco want that picture? Like, I keep getting that. I'm like, I can't even explain what this was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He needed so, a prop for karaoke contest. Yeah. So I did that. And then, uh, yeah, then the other person went. And then the final one was, uh, what, what is her name? What, the wrestler? What is her name? Oh, uh, Hikaru Shida. Yeah. She comes out and. Again, knows Japanese, so she's belting out the song and getting everybody in a dance. She doesn't even have to look at the oh, screen. Oh, she had choreography. She's going, oh, no. and I'm just like, well, well that's over. And then, yeah, they gave her the She's a professional entertainer. But let me tell you. So is Rocco. I think so they had really, a chance. She, she's on TV every week working the crowd, you know? They say, but let me tell you, they saved her as a finale. Oh, yeah. And then they were screaming and yelling. Even backstage, it was like, oh, clear, clear the way for her. I think it was a setup. I think, I think they rigged it. They I made think you the it, opening act. Yeah. yeah it's I, like when we saw the Aquabats and they played the shittiest music beforehand. <laughs> so <laughs> we were so thirsty for some like happy ska. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, they were playing like, oh, <laughs> that's their opening. Whatever. We're like, we just want to hear super rad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So anyway, whatever. So I didn't win. Well, you know, I think the odds were against me a little bit, but. Did they have the crowd vote or the judges voted? The judges, judges vote. Voted. And That's, was unanimous against you? It was, yeah, two, the two who'd guys. They give, who'd they give the trophy to? The uh, Karashita. Yeah. Now, I will That's say. That's rigged, dude. I'm telling you. That's I, rigged. Kept going like, oh, I want to be in the game. Like, oh, she needs another championship. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah, she kept saying, I would love to be in the next game. I'm like, you know what? And we she got probably we, is. We got conspiracy mode. We were like, I bet she already is. She already and is. they're setting up the narrative of it right oh now. Oh, my God. And, the, you're and, right. then whatever. and so I'm thinking all that, and they're, and, and they're you know, I'm, I'm backstage. You know, talking to myself in a corner. Yeah, this is what they want to do. <laughs> like Joker, like, like, why is nobody talking Vanky. to me? Uh, no, in all honesty, though, that was super. That was super cool. They asked, and I had a really good time. So uh, I hope everybody who went to that had a good time too. What was awesome about that party is they set up. They had the the big arch of Camarocho. Like when you go there in the game, there's these there's this big golden arch. They had that in there, yeah. and they had the the dance floor from Yakuza Zero. Yeah. Famous famous scene in that game is they're dancing on this rainbow like uh, yeah. LED dance floor. They had it. Yeah, I mean, it they sick. really did a good job. Yeah. Um, Why? So I had a great time. Anyway. Super hang on. Speaking you know, of, that sounds like the perfect yeah. marketing event. Honestly. People yeah. playing. Oh, yeah. Now here we are talking about everybody's these yeah. great memories. Well, I, I have a conspiracy theory and uh -huh. I don't know the answer to this. Why the fuck did Doc Ryan win anything at oh, this? Dude, oh, what? So what? What, they, what is this? So Classic I lost Ryan. the thing and I sit down and I'm like, damn, man. Oh, well. And then they're like, hey, we're going to do a raffle. Some people, you know, you got a gift bag on the way in. We're going to do a little raffle. Uh -oh. uh, and they went through all these big prizes. None of us won anything. Sure. Okay, that's fine. What were like, the big prizes? Like, what was it? Like uh, you know, copy of the game, okay. uh, 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 all, all the merch that they had, like at their Sega uh, booth. Okay. You know, yeah, big yeah. Uh, down payment on a car. <laughs> yeah, exactly, stuff like that. You know, and then it's over, house. and the 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 voice actor of Ichiban goes, "Wait, wait, wait! It's not over. Wait, we, we can find more stuff." Yeah. And he had a Hawaiian shirt on because the new game it took play, you go to Hawaii in it. Cool. He took off the Hawaiian shirt. He had a T-shirt under it, but yeah. he took off the Hawaiian shirt. All right, I'm gonna give the shirt off my back. The next winner and they called dr ryan's ticket so he got to go on stage winner dr ryan i'm like i can't escape this shit <laughs> what is any time i try to win anything i'm in the room with that guy and he went like what what else has he won the christmas cast <laughs> the oh. that's rigged he cheats yeah he cheats on this too right the, the so dsi is it packs so i uploaded that's true. That did happen. He too. has flavor uh, numbing pills in yeah. before the Christmas. He cast. did win in the most Ryan way. He cheats. Yeah, that's he true. Cheated. So we'll tell you off the podcast, maybe. Yeah. How he actually won. What? Wow. What are you talking about? I think he might have had more than one raffle ticket in his pocket. Oh, okay. Are you on, were you only allowed to have one? Increasing the odds. Well, you you're only, only given one, one gift bag. But he found one on the ground. And I guess oh. that's what won. I think Are you he was serious? Char I think Charlie he Bucket than one. style. He Charlie Are Bucket you? style. Oh, he was he farming. He took real? somebody else's ticket. He found it on the ground. He's going through those bags. He's taking. I I didn't say that. He's. No, no, no. I'm oh, saying he found it. a ticket. He We're found. saying He's it. Grounded. I'm not saying he stole anything. He was, I'm saying he was it. fishing <laughs> unattended bags for the tickets. <laughs> a lot of people he, he leave early. He Charlie bucketed it. Hey, I'm a lot of people you. leave early. They don't want the swag. They leave it out in the trash in front. I don't Damn, know, dude. So he found the winning ticket, as you said, like Charlie Bucket. 
Wow, and he got his golden ticket. So I upload, I put up the footage on my personal YouTube channel. You can you could search, uh, look it up on my channel. Um, I put up the footage of him winning, yeah. and then they put the shirt on him on stage. What's your YouTube and, channel? Where do people find it? Just Rocco Bodie on YouTube. Okay, and uh, and they uh, are trying to put the shirt on him for like ten minutes. <laughs> I think it got caught on his watch. That's what he said. Orion's watch? But man, it was funny that they're just trying for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. So he, He's trying to get it away from him and he finally does it. He yeah. puts it on in 10 seconds. He puts seconds. it on, on, it, on himself fine, but the, he was like, no, 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 oh, let me do it. Let they me do fucked it. him on well, that. Well, when you yeah, get those do. kind of inexpensive dollar watches, I know. Yeah, they, they got a lot of hooks and they stuff. They get on. caught on a lot because they're so poorly made that yeah. they just get caught on stuff all the time. Exactly. A doctor. What a wild ride. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, Anyway, review that footage. See if you notice any other cheating. But other than that, um, I had a lot fun. of I had a lot of fun at that event. Yeah, and happy, and happy to go moment, there so. and, and hang Thanks. out with everyone. Hell yeah! Yes. Well, we do have sponsors, right? Yeah, uh, That's we could a great point. We could bring up <laughs> our Patreon, which we do have. Yes, uh, I just we did could. A, I just did a record club with uh, Jenny. We did Alicia Keys, the Diary of Alicia Keys. If you want to check that out. She uh, did have diarrhea. Yeah. I, I remember. Diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Of oh, Keys. Yo, this album sounds like shit. Okay. Your I, wife likes I, My that? read was a little fast. <laughs> Di <laughs> diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> of Alicia, Alicia Keys. Keys. That's up there, huh? It's up there. It's the top uh, 500. It's the top 500, yes. We, we also have a ton of Anime Expo related stuff coming to our Patreon. We just today put up the Q&A from our panel. And uh, we have uh, more to come, too. We've also got a sp another special gift for Tier 2 and 3 people. We've got um, a special uh, onstage Q&A thing from our farewell tour that no one has seen before. That'll be going up soon um, for our Tier 2 and 3 patrons. So, yeah, patreon.com slash mega64. There's tons of stuff on there, as always. Hundreds of hours. Hours of every week of, of exclusive <clears throat> stuff. And... And a word from our sponsor yes. who helps us keep this ship rolling. We love these guys. Just again, to remind you guys, Carl Strauss Brewing Company, San Diego's original local beer and a Southern California staple. Real recognizes real. They are one of the greatest brewing companies from San Diego. One of the most famous. We are one of the greatest and most famous internet troops from San Diego. Honestly, there's nobody else but us in San Diego. That's, 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 that's We're going to be uh, collaborating with them over the next few weeks to uh, unleash a Comic-Con special, which we'll be talking about that more in the coming weeks. We may even go to the brewery and show off, uh, you know, film some stuff down there just to show yes. you what it's like. I would love to. Uh, check out their OG Red Trolley Ale, their Sun Lager, their Tower X West Coast IPA. They have something for everyone. Go to carlstrauss.com and look up their Beer Finder. Because Carl Strauss is available in California, Arizona, and Nevada. Yes. Oh, yeah. And the Chroma Collection. Available today at shop.mega64.com. Can we show them one more time? Look at how nice that if is. If you get the it's whole fit. It's all in fit, stock, baby. I'm telling you. Yes. Get the whole fit. Wear all. You can You can wear all you that can. at the same time. It's yeah, not impossible. Definitely, and I would say shorts over the, the, the oh, joggers. Oh, you would go that way? Yeah. I, if I'm wearing the whole fit, I'm going shorts over the joggers to maximize. Everybody can see it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. you support a good cause. Yes. Us. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Mega 64, we need uh, we need the support. So uh, check it out. I do want to bring up with that, if you guys. Bring you know, it up. If you, go, if you don't, we can cut this later if you don't want me to we bring it. We cut anything. Okay. Oh, All right. Uncut. No, more anime but, or what? You know, we were debating bringing this up on the air because uh, we never, at least, I'm, I'm going to speak for myself. I never want to give the spotlight to uh, assholes. We um, might air dirty laundry. <laughs> we're going to air some dirty laundry here. No, but, um, you know, we keep Mega 64 afloat from many different, We, you know, people are always like, how do you do it? How, do you, how are you guys still around? It ain't well, easy. Well, we have a lot of different pillars. You know, we've got you know, sponsorships, we've got our store, we got our Patreon, we got Twitch, we got YouTube. You know, we kind of do a lot of different things. A very little bit from each. Exactly. That's going. That's that's how we keep the lights on here. But we we lost one of our pillars because um one of the things on Twitch is you can um, you know, donate to the channel and stuff like that. Make the Seinfeld noise, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys remember the Seinfeld bit when people would oh, give that to was the great. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, well, that's gone. Someone let them have it. Go ahead. Someone Just abused. Speak freely. Someone abused that and was tipping us for like days and days on end. Let's just say too, 
We were the victims yes. of yeah. a cyber scam a that cyber was attack. perpetrated on yeah. us through the Twitch donation system. Yes. Oh, this and, is the first time here. Shut it down. Yeah, it's and off we've now. lost a fuck ton of money. Yes. So uh yeah, uh their I guess their plan is to like they keep doing like credit card chargeback. You know, it's like a whole thing where they like did that for days and days, and then they they keep trying to like hit us with like credit card fraud shit or something like that. And it's just it's just super frustrating. It's annoying because it's huh. just like, okay, I guess we'll turn that off. Yeah, but know, it's thanks. like it's such a scam that like Twitch knows about this. Well, I guess, but there's nothing you could do about it because the credit card company like it's like no, they they always take care of the customers. Yeah. And so then, but now there's a fine on top of it through PayPal from us. So now we're just like, well. Oh, so we get fined? Yeah. It's, yeah. They gave us money, which we use to stay in business here. Yeah. And then they hit us with the chargeback from the credit card company. So that money gets taken out. They get refunded. Yeah. So then we lose that. And then they hit us with a, a penalty fee. So then Ouch. we lose For those every additional time. Yeah. For thousands of dollars. Yeah. And it totally ruins our good standing with the credit card institutions. Yeah. We try to like uh, get on customer service with them and they're like well no you're fucking you're they think we're the scammers yeah that's so it's just yeah fun a, it's a crime so yeah so uh anyway so that that is uh currently not in commission uh that whole operation <laughs> so if you wanted more. to support the channel in that way you can't thank but you, you can <laughs> but i appreciate the thought yeah so Subs, and the person who did it is probably watching right now Laughing. We, so we think yeah, we good. Got good him. on you. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. You, you know, won. Like, you won. I just feel like it's. You can still subscribe. It, he's probably laughing his ass off right, right now as we're saying this. Yeah, yeah, they probably are. That's but a good it, way to support us, though, right? Yeah. They could still subscribe. They could still donate subscriptions yes. to their friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You or like buy that. things at the store, yeah. or just tell your so friends that, about us so we get more subscriptions. Like sub, sub to us on YouTube yeah. or. Instagram. Yeah, I don't know. That's all we wanted to say is like, if there's any time you want to support us, it would be a great week to do that because man, it's been <laughs> just it's, <sighs> pick up a chroma shirt. Yeah, oh, there you go. And if you are watching, and and you are the person who did this, leave a comment on our YouTube channel. Yeah, and out yourself. I dare you. Dare you? <laughs> I, yeah. I dare you, Mister Big Shot. Let's see if you can. I don't know. Yeah. I or it, are you a wuss? Yeah. Are it's, you a little wuss? It's one thing where it's like. We're not fucking rich. We're just guys <laughs> trying to do this and have like fun stuff to do like for people to watch. And it's like when people come in, it's like, oh man, I don't know. I'm just a guy trying to get through life. I'm I'm not a millionaire. This sucks. Like, why are you doing this to us? Yeah. Anyways, whatever. What can you do? We're gonna move on, but it fucking sucks. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway. And Doc Ryan won that shirt. So there's two bad yeah, it things. Was, that it happened. was a yeah. one two punch this week of just misery. And who, Ryan? 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 All right, Ryan. Oh, guilty conscience. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> Where did you get good. the money to do that? Ryan, I'm afraid thank to you. Ask. I take it back. I was joking about the shirt thing. Thank you for the subs. <laughs> <laughs> but don't char you, don't do a chargeback thing later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because then we'll know. You can adjust the back, but don't charge back. Thank you. Anyway. I get it. Nothing on that? Wow. I, I know right. I got it. I didn't understand that. Hey. I think all the hey, best. Wait. That was good. Thanks. That's I don't good. understand all, it. All the best jokes have. You can adjust a back, but you can't charge back. He's a chiropractor. Adju adjust. Oh, my a God. Not, not just. I didn't hear the up part. I heard just a back. Well, if you don't get it by now. There's well, no we heard problem. diarrhea. Okay. I think so, earlier, so. It, this is real. <laughs> I, I was talking to Jenny, and she was listening to a podcast with Henry Winkler, who is dyslexic. And oh, she <laughs> just like talking, talking about that. So and when then, he would read the script, it was like, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was good. That was, that was good. good. Two in a row. That was good. He's on fire. Rocko, so because we'll his catchphrase it. is A. Is A. So tell, a. tell me later. Tell me later. No, Anyways, we tell you now. She was saying all these things. I'm like, oh yeah, this sounds like me. And then she's like, let's take an online test. That's not official. Let's take one. Yeah. And it was like, oh, don't you, do that. After the test, it was like, you know, 100%. you don't have it. Mild, moderate, severe. And I was on definitely the severe. And it's like, oh, maybe I am. I can't spell shit. Yeah. Like trying to read back numbers. I'm just like, I have to put my finger underneath it because I can't. Like, I think I might be dyslexic. So all growing up, my grandpa, God bless him, called me dyslexic. Yeah. And I, as a kid, I didn't know what the fuck it meant. You know, yeah. turn the water on. I'd go start turning it off. He'd be like, no, you dyslexic. Come on, come on. <laughs> and I'd be like, why is fucking grandpa always calling me that? But I really like 
learned what it was as an adult and 100% think I have that. Everything that was like, no, I couldn't. I was so bad at spelling and math in school because I kept switching the shit. So it's our I'm, brain thing, dude. It's the dude, remember off But now I'm thinking like, should I? Like, It is because name memorization is part of that. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. Dude, I was wondering <laughs> like, should I take like the actual like test like to find yeah, out? Yeah, you I'm should. Really and dyslexic. you should uh, what are you gonna do, read though? your results live on this show. Well, can you read it for me? Because I'm not good at reading. Oh, like, yeah. That's not, <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes oh, sense. shit. <laughs> Sean, that, yeah. was, that was good. Oh, thank you. Good joke. Thank you. Thank well, you. anybody who works at Mega 64 is definitely not neurotypical. Yeah. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> I think that makes you an artist. <laughs> we all have our own little... <laughs> anybody who had a properly functioning brain would have got a regular job years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I have to not look at like a uh, YouTube, like, oh, maybe you have this uh, neurodivergency. Here are the symptoms. Cause I'll be convinced like, mm. oh yeah, I, that's me. Yeah. yeah. So say you are a hundred percent confirmed. If you do take this test, yeah. like nothing changes, nothing changes. No. There's no medicine that you would even want to take if no, there was I for think this. Just knowing, cause honestly, to be real now, I always felt stupid and dumb, which I've talked about before. Like I yeah, always yeah. thought I was a dumb person cause I was never good at the normal school stuff. Yeah, but I think it's like, oh, maybe I'm not dumb. My brain's just not like. But you were better at the like dance class and well, the yeah. I was other activities that use that left part of your brain or that other. Well, yeah, part. but even like I, I even like with doing the math, it's like I, I think I know how to do the formula, but I'm always getting it wrong. But it's like, oh, it's probably because I was switching the numbers up in my head. But I was still <laughs> doing it correctly. Yeah, but the number, the, the answer numbers. was wrong. You and might have dyscalculia. Ooh. Oh, that's uh, only when, for numbers. That's number dyslexia. Now I, de- I mean, maybe. I maybe got it all, baby. Words too. I don't know. I, I'll yeah. fuck colors up. But I'm thinking about maybe going to take Chroma an actual test. Calculate. <laughs> but nothing changes again. Like my life's the same. Yeah, but yeah. It, maybe it's just good just to know. You know, I just want to know. You just want to know. Yeah, I think you it's got empowering it, to get older and learn about yourself, and mm-hmm. then. You think back of this, all these moments in your life where you're like, oh, that used to really like, I wondered what was wrong with me. And now I have an explanation. Right. And I feel like, yeah, it gives you some sort of like, well, at least I know that it's not my fault. You know? Yeah. But true. <laughs> true. Also, I feel like, you know, there are things to like, hey, if you're dyslexic, this could help you. These little things could help you. And maybe I had never even looked into that. But maybe there's things that like, you know, there's things that tricks. could help me. Yeah, tricks. Little or tricks to get yeah. around it. Yeah, smoking weed. Dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe the cab- cannabinoids would like rewire yeah. your brain chemistry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. If that doesn't work, something harder, cocaine. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. But, well, but smoke weed. you'll be doing math like a motherfucker. Yeah, you'll yeah. be reading real good. You'll be making up your own language. <laughs> you'll be speed reading, speaking Strigoi. <laughs> it's faster. Hey, can I show you guys a video real quick? It's 13 yeah. seconds. We'll get yeah. your live reaction. I'll have to move uh, chocolate. Oh, shit. Oh, chocolate spray here. Yeah, chocolate yeah, spray. Okay, so um, 4th of July happened yeah. last week while you guys were anima- at it, Anime Expo. It was crazy being in oh. downtown LA during the fireworks. Yeah. Oh, I saw a picture of someone laying That in. night was, everywhere was insane. Yeah. Speaking of fireworks... These are x-rays of hands. Oh, no. Before, oh, no. before and after they held fireworks. Oh. Oh. Live reaction incoming. These guys haven't seen this, this x-ray. yet. x-ray. I, I can do that. These are just x-rays. Yeah. <laughs> before. before. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah. It's disconnected. Oh. oh, the M80. No. The half was disconnected. It was in two pieces. No. It's like take these fingers and like <laughs> ah, an ounce of their flesh. Thumb was this, ah. The M80. It looked like their hand became a tomato. Why did they even x ray uh, that other thumb that wasn't connected well, to it? They, Why was that part of it? I don't know what they're looking at. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So, uh, uh, happy close 4th your, of I, July. I did see some meme of um, Carl Weathers and it was like, uh, 4th of July and it's him like as in like Rocky was three in the U- the USA gear going yeah. or whatever and then it was like July 5th and it was him and Happy Gilmore holding the wooden hand oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so don't hold fireworks uh, at home and uh, I don't know should we you know maybe funny? we'll tweet out that video dude, if you want to see for yourself yeah as a kid I had a friend that would always put like the black cat or like what? the little yeah. firework Shut up. on the palm of his hand but leave his fingers open and it would just pop and it wouldn't burn them or anything oh. but even that I, i'm like literally yeah. playing with fire yeah if you I, close your hand i never fucked with fireworks you did it as a kid well no, they're illegal here get yeah, you couldn't get them I, uh, I got him. The same grandfather got him from Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Well, you remember i got a bag of m80s from oh, mexico I yeah, yeah. Videos. in uh high school yeah yeah 
You could see, I mean, yeah, I, I think I still, Derek, I think I still use the sound effect of you put an M80 in a SpongeBob, SpongeBob doll. SpongeBob, yeah. And sometimes when we need a really authentic sounding, something like it pops or explodes, I still have the clip on the editing computer yeah. of, uh, it's like SpongeBob.avi, SpongeBobM80.avi, <laughs> and I will rip the audio well, I, from that. I had a family member who would go to, yeah, that's a classic. We yeah, use yeah. it all the time. It I just sounds so natural. Family member who would go to Tijuana to, uh, you know, buy like, tiles and you know housing supplies because they're cheaper down there or visit some friends and uh, one day they came back with a big bag of these things that look like little dynamite sticks I'm like yeah hey, i picked you up something i thought you might have fun and when you're 14 somebody drops a <laughs> bag of m80s in front of you it's like <laughs> fuck oh. yeah i'm having fun you're yeah. like you brought me firework explosives yeah. But I didn't know what to do it, so I had those for years. Yeah, we yeah. would go behind your house and set Which, them off. Is, oh. I'm, I was just thinking about this. <laughs> our our logical thought was we should go to the school to light these. So we went to a school. <laughs> well, yeah. it was our high school had a big. It was built on a huge dirt lot, yeah. so there was a bunch of surrounding open area. Yeah. Sure, I mean we still were in school property. Technically, technically, yeah. technically. Technically. technically we were on government property. We'd set those off. Oh, that was fun. All right, let's go and play Mario Kart. Whoop, whoop. Like cop oh, cars yeah. Yeah. would come, like would hear patrolling it. the streets, like yeah. looking for. And we were like, "Do you think they're Is they're here possible? because of the explosion <laughs> that just went off?" We yeah. kept lighting off an explosion. Oh, oh, an explosion at a school? Yeah, I, I think the cop. Would the cops come out for that? Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Well, we're playing Mario Kart right now. It's not, we can't worry about. Yeah, this. yeah, I'm busy. Yo. <laughs> yeah. I got a red shell. Don't bother me right now. <laughs> a blue shell incoming. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about. That. There was one time That's they so drove. Funny. Passed with the lights on behind the dirt path, like by right by my back like the fence, fence, looking for yeah. us. <laughs> nice see, try, the coppers. Perfect, the perfect plan was like we were, they're looking in the bushes, but we we're on the other side in yeah. the houses. You never yeah. think of that. Play Mario Kart. That, You're you? too slow. <laughs> uh, but there was uh, no. Speaking of the the fireworks in L.A. or whatever, um, only I remember. Gosh, I want to say maybe like seven years ago at Anime Expo, we were staying down there once again. And uh, you could still get at Tar I don't I think they're gone now, but at Target you get those little pop snaps, you know those little. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they sell those in stores anymore. Oh, I think maybe the ice cream they? man. Has ice cream man, you yeah, still I have think them. they still got them. Yeah, those I, I would do in my hand. For the yeah. record, I would do those in my hand. I don't know what the legal status of those is here in California, but I would. They had them at Target, and I remember stocking up for Anime Expo downtown LA. Okay, and going like, you know what? Get some of those too. They're fun. And I remember walking outside, going, "Ha ha! I got these now," <laughs> and everyone going. And I was like, well, that's the end of that. Okay. It was like, <laughs> throw them away. Three shootings had happened like Scared earlier people. that month. So everyone's just like, oh God, what is that? And I'm like, well, those are going back in the bag. That's done. I think I still have them. In I my used house. to take the paper and like snap them in my finger. Oh, oh I think I did that. Ooh, once. I did do that. Oh, that's cool. Wizard. Yeah. I thought oh, it was cool. Wizard. But now I think like that. What? I mean, those are so weak. There's not gonna, they're not going to do I anything. I don't think those but, are going to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. But your kids you're are safe. dumb. You're safe. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, hey, we're good. All five. Yeah, man, blowing your whole hand apart. That sucks. Uh, that, it sucks. That's rough. But and it's just x-ray, so like, if I'm going to see it, that's the best way to possibly see that. I, I yeah. saw some great stuff, though, that was like, uh, you know, there's so many people with cameras now filming their fireworks yeah. that you have like both points of view of a firework going up, turning sideways and like landing in a neighborhood and everyone going like, oh, shit, I hope they're okay. And then the other oh, filming. point of view where they're setting off their fireworks and all of a sudden you hear something, they look in the sky and something like lands well, right on them. I saw a video <laughs> of like some stadium and they were some game was oh. launching fireworks and it went rogue and started going into the crowd. The like football game. Yeah, like yeah. Fireworks were going into the crowd. And there was blood all over one of the people. He had like a, oh. a, a it burned a hole in his oh shirt. Oh my oh. God, dude. And there was Ooh. some fucked up. POV footage from that that wow. football game that too. Sucks. I, well, I don't know if we if uh, we'll we'll talk. Follow us on Twitter. Yes, maybe we'll tweet this video out. You could see for yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah. You could do your own reaction. I I saw I saw one video that was very just nothing bad about it. It was a dad and he had like a lit firework on in his hat or uh. something, and the smoke <laughs> was coming from it, and he's just going oh, no. <laughs> like that, and I'm like uh oh, and it's just. And then the video ended. I'm oh. like, oh, that's it, huh? That, okay, that's not, not too bad. Good, and good. then, wait, what's this new story it's bundled with? Uh, the final video of a father as he lit no. a firework. I'm like, no. they were like, yeah, it went off. And it, it, it blew his head off. Blew, it blew up on his head. Uh, yeah, it like killed him. 
Oh. So I'm like, wait, I just watched a dead man? You were making me laugh with your little dance. I didn't exactly. know, I didn't know I watched, it was the dance of that's death. That's exactly what happened to me. I, I say it was just a dad with a smoking hat going. That's mm-hmm. terrible. Mm-hmm. That's but, terrible. And then it was like, yeah, this cuts right before he you fatally know, blew That's up. like a Faces of Death segment. Yes. I will. I know. I will say that oh. now that everyone has cameras so easily available yeah. and people are like, you know, people have always had fireworks, but a lot of times you just launch them off and that was it. But now people are like, oh, but this would be a funny video. Yeah. And so they go extra like that. Yeah. And there's so many, I'm sure, footage of people's, I mean, I'm sure that's the aftermath of the hands, but I'm sure there's a video <laughs> of the actual event happening. I'm yeah. sure there you is. want me to Google that? No, nice. thank no, you. Thanks. No, thanks. <laughs> I Fine. still am haunted by... Derek on our editing computer back in the day Dude. looked up for some reason looked up fucked up images da, or da, we were, was like rotten.com or something like oh, that. Or good old days oh, style project or some shit. Whatever yeah. it was. Uh and it was like, oh look, uh, look at these funny fireworks accidents. And it was just horrific pictures. It was like, ha, ah, this guy was chewing on a blast. I think no, I in my memory, you showed that to me. I, oh, I but I don't know. I, that, I think we blame each other for yeah. our trauma. I, well, but I, 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 I do I remember, remember I do remember as a soldier was chewing on a blast cap and it was like Always this smart. Is, this is the aftermath. And that I don't even want to think I, about I'm it. I'm telling you, I can still see it. I can still I, see me it. In too, my mind me too. too. I, w- I definitely know it was one of you fuckers who showed me. It was not me looking that shit up. Because Rocco, <laughs> you were the one who showed me Pain Olympics. Yes, that was passed to me, and I <laughs> could hear the music bestowed now. it on top. Yeah. So may- maybe I was like, "Well, I'll raise your Pain Olympics with chewing on a blast." I don't oh, know. That, and then that fuck that picture. But Pain Olympics, I will say though, amongst you guys, I never I heard what it was. By the way, everyone home, don't look that up. But anyway, uh, I knew what it was, and it was like, here's the link. Oh, it's open. Oh, no, I have to close it. I never saw it. But then finally, we were, uh, Garrett and I went up to film an indie horror movie <laughs> yeah. with, our, with our friends uh, from a long time back, No Mercy video. So we sta- yeah. we're staying at the No and Mercy house. we stayed house. at their house, and it was just like, all right. You Someone never, there. It wasn't us. Yeah. That was your first time watching it? It was like, all right, let's all, let's all, let's all man up. Who are we willing to win the pain Olympics? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. And he hit play, and it was everyone was like, "Are we all okay? We're, let's see what's actually in this video." When, Stand we, back. when we watched it, I think we got like two point five seconds. The, the into music, it, 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 we, we turned it off. <laughs> yeah, we turned it off. The music is already upsetting. Like you, da, 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 da. nope, nope, nope. I can't. Like it, the music gives you anxiety. All right. Oh, just, well, think, uh, uh, just thinking about it. Is it was it proved fake? No, I believe no. I think it, the whole thing came out of that it was. I, I think uh, years after it was proved. To I need to all see. I gotta find. Hey, it. that's a good ending to yeah, the story, right? Isn't that, that the, actually? <laughs> you'd rather think all of these that? years later, I can like breathe this. Like, wait, that wasn't real. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, thank Ooh, God. Thank God. Yeah. There wow. were there were lots of videos we saw back in the early two thousands that would. I I'm not picking on you specifically, Sean, but you would specifically raise your voice to how upset you were that yeah. they were in our vicinity. Yes. And I will say most of them did turn out to be like they had a, a story after that was like, that was all fake. We staged this. Yeah. So you can like us again. You can like okay. us Okay, 15 years uh, later, I'll like you again. Thank you. <laughs> uh, re- real quick, because uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll probably be wrapping up soon or yeah. you know whatever you guys want to do, but I didn't want to steamroll past uh, we're talking about current events and things that have been happening. Sure. This is the important thing I want to get to. Yeah. Johnny, something happened in the parking lot. Oh, dude. Are you ready to talk about yeah. it? I, he, all I know is Johnny was like getting the podcast ready, going something crazy in the parking lot. In our parking lot? No, no, no. I went to 7-Eleven. Oh, down okay. the street? Yeah. Well, yesterday was 7-Eleven day. Yeah. Oh. Who, got, oh. who got free Slurpee? I think 7-Eleven day is no longer free Slurpee day. Those oh, my are, kids got free Slurpees. Really? really? Yeah. Yeah, because son of a bitch. I did see someone on social media. They posted like seventy Slurpee cups on a table. Like, huh? Broke my record this year, and I was like, damn. I bet the employees love you. Mm. Like, it's like what they kept asshole. going back or something. <laughs> I don't okay, know. But all right, so yeah. there's the context. Yesterday was Seven Eleven. Oh, this happened uh, like an hour or two ago. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. so yeah, day after the day after. So yeah, when, when my brother died. <laughs> That's not true. That was <laughs> never mind. It's an inside joke. Uh, yeah, I, I ran. <laughs> to 7-Eleven to grab a ghost real quick, uh, the energy drink. Yeah. And I got in my car and there was like a older guy on a bike and a younger guy and they're talking. Car uh, parks, guy gets out of the driver's seat, starts talking to the younger younger guy. 
immediately knocks him out. Whoa. <laughs> like, what? Like Why? sucker punches him? Yeah, sucker punches him. This dude crumples to the ground. He picks him up, throws him against the wall, and just starts kicking him. What? To the what? point where I'm like, this is feet away from me. I'm just hearing like. I know. From like the kicks. The what? 7-Eleven you're talking about has like a four little, spaces. Yeah. There's like no root. Yeah, that was like okay. right in front of you. Yeah. We li- we work in between two 7-Elevens. Yeah. yeah. And was this the nice one or the not this nice was one? The, this was the nice the one. The nice one. Oh, really? Yeah. The nice no, one? No, not the oh, nice man. one. Because I swore it was going to be the other one. Yeah, me I, too. I stopped going to the other one because I thought at one point. Me. But there have been like I've there have been like incidents there. Well, before, it's a, too. that one's on a corner where there's a lot of like homeless people like busking or mm-hmm. there's a lot. Of I don't shit. know if busking is the right term, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pan, yeah. panhandling. <laughs> They're doing tricks and stuff. <laughs> Perform. I'm a mind to yeah. magic. No. So uh, this was not know. not the one on well, the corner. We, we had an incident at that particular uh 7-Eleven you just mentioned on that corner where we were leaving after an event one night and like you know, we came to get our cars here. And at the stop light there, some dude tried to get in our car. And uh he, was he must have handles. thought you were his Uber. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it was but probably me. Time that, to go home. Quick that, time. But it happened Subaru, got it, it. It happened to me, and then I drove somewhere and hid and called Kevin and Rachel because they were leaving. I knew they were gonna go the same place. Yeah. Calling them like, hey, you need to watch out. Someone tried to I was by myself. And the guy tried to get in my car, and I'm like, you need to be aware. And as I'm telling them on the phone, they're, oh, holy fuck, get the fuck away from us. Get the fuck. <laughs> it happened to them. Wow. So, yeah, we, we're on the phone with the police. Uh, like, hey, it's happening so, right there. So, so that's Johnny, a scary area. Yeah. What happened now? What's next? Uh, okay, so I immediately, I'm like about to take my phone out to film. Oh, but they're, oh they're not, call the, not call the police. Oh, oh. They're so close to me that I'm like, I can't film this. He's going to see me. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I just start. Uh, I, I put my car in reverse the whole time. I'm just going, hey, yo, yo, yo. I'm like, <laughs> what else is there to say? Um, yeah. The the guy gets back in his car and just books it. Um, and then I get, uh, I start heading towards work. And uh, I noticed the older guy on uh, his bicycle is speeding up to the car, just doing gang sy- symbols at him. <laughs> oh, um, so he was talking to the guy. And then as soon as the fight started, he just like backed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, we were both stopped at the same red light, and he just like went through the red light. Um, he was so, getting yeah, the fuck out of it. Saw that. a guy it's get the good. shit kicked out of him. And what happened to the guy? You don't know. He's just laying uh, there still. He, I saw him get up, and he was like literally like zombie mode. Like he was just like, um, like barely able to stand up. Did he, get, did he get a slurpee? I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh man. No, that was he, so he just got jumped, or I don't get like why he was attacked. Did we don't I don't know? know either. The dude just. Uh, you should go down there and investigate. Yeah. <laughs> It happened so fast. I will. Pen and paper. So I heard there was an incident earlier. I'm just here to make sure the guy's okay. Who jumped who? There yeah. were so many people in the parking lot just looking in shock because yeah. it was like a movie fight. The way the dude was just kicking him. It sounds like the Godfather. Honestly, oh, like, yeah. so, you know, uh, touch my sister again, I'll kill you, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I, I thought, like, maybe he cheated on this dude's girlfriend or, like, this guy owes him money and he, like, found him, mm-hmm. fucked him up and taught him a lesson and then, like, yeah. bounced. Times hmm. are getting tough, and uh, there's a lot of like crime happening in this uh, surrounding neighborhood. Because mm-hmm. I follow a couple of Instagram accounts that Same. are like, "Yo, San Diego news," and they just like post videos and stories that you don't really see on it's the like real night news. It's like nightcrawler shit. It's dude. like nightcrawler shit, I and I'm always it. like, "What the fuck?" That's like four blocks away from where we are. Yeah, mm. shootings and stabbings and hit and runs and crazy shit happening. You just don't see, like, I don't see particularly a lot of violence on the regular out there. But when you do see that, it's like, it, it stops. It kind of, like, freezes you. Like, oh, fuck, what do I do? Mm. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, don't call the cops. Don't, snitches and, get and snitches. And, like, you also don't, like, want to get involved. Advice. Call the cops. You definitely don't want to get involved. But yeah. also, I don't want to see this guy get killed. I'm with Johnny, too. I'd, I'd be like, damn, do I film this? But, yeah, he sees me filming, and then he's going to go after me. Put it on the Instagram page. I'd just be like, hey, uh, hi, world star. Hi. World star. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hi. Polite. Be polite about it. Um, yeah, yeah, you got to say world star. <laughs> world star. Then they don't get mad. Yeah, then they're like, oh, you're helping me. Oh, yeah. well, if it's for that. Yeah, <laughs> keep going. World star. <laughs> Is world star still a thing? I, I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Mm. Johnny's just going, hey. Hey, oh, 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 hey. New, oh. York, New York Johnny came yeah, out. New York Johnny <laughs> shut up real quick. <laughs> Have you guys seen this news that uh, Hideo Kojima and George Miller are like besties? Yeah, now? they, they love each other. Out? Yeah. Uh, I saw that Hideo Kojima wrote that uh, Fury, Furiosa was his favorite Mad Max movie I of loved the his, whole series. He said, George Miller is my God and his stories are my Bible. Wow. Yes. Quote. It was like, 
what? That and then, the and most- then George Miller saying, I want Hideo Kojima to make a Mad Max game. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. that'd be sick. Which I played the little bit of the first Mad Max game because everybody said it was You're great. You're talking about the PS4 one? Yeah. 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 I thought it was solid, but it, I didn't get yeah. into it. You know, I, I played it for it like an solid, hour and I was like, this is fun, but I, there, there's so many games like this that I just, I don't want to get into this now, but I know people who like really loved it. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Speaking of uh, Hideo though, that, the, that game was cursed to be released the same day as the Phantom Pain. So, uh, yeah, if, yeah. I, there you go. gosh, I wonder why it didn't sell a ton of copies. Mm-hmm. It also, it came, Came out the same day as a game that consumed my life completely. It really differentiated from the world they built starting with Fury Road. Yeah. It that's was true. like it was that lore, but they kind of like weren't helped with character design. Yeah. So they just made a lot of shit up. Yeah. I can see that. I think Hideo Kojima would knock a Mad Max game out of the park. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. He would do so good with it. That'd be dope. Yeah. Well, um, I loved when he helped out with that Lords of Shadow and Castlevania got this like breath of fresh air all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, he did kind of yeah. like over oversee that. I forgot about that. I watched Furiosa uh, last week. Have you guys? I'm sure oh, you've I've seen, seen it three it. times. No, I three love times, that movie. Oh, dude. Wow. Now that it's streaming, hey, I watched it again. I loved it. I loved it. Oh, yeah. I think that's my favorite Mad Max movie. What? Wow. Okay. Legitimately. Wow. It had me go back and I had like in the last month almost rewatched all of them. I didn't do me Thunderdome. Too. Oh, really? I immediately turned it off and that night I put on Thunderdome because I was like, okay. you know, I always, write this, I, I always write this movie off and I watched Thunderdome. You know, I read some... Re- uh, retroactive reviews and analysis mm. thunderdome is either the high point or the low point of the 80s oh, movies, yeah, depending yeah. on who you talk to yeah yes. i always thought people were like don't watch that one it sucks but I've, I've heard that a lot i honestly. found there's a whole other community that are like hey that's actually the best mad max yeah my, my family told me that my whole life they were I, like at least watch that one i can see both arguments mm. I, okay i prefer road warrior from the 80s but Thunderdome, road warrior is they're out in the middle of the desert they it's very much like fury road we find a base we have an objective. We got to take this thing down the road and all this action happens on a truck. And then Thunderdome is kind of like Furiosa where they're like, hey, let's explore more of the world here. Mm. They show you this place called Barter Town. Yeah. Mm. And you kind of see the political inner workings of Barter Town. Tina Turner runs the town, but there's another guy, Master Blaster, who actually claims to run the town. And Furiosa had the same aspect. Power of, structural of the Citadel, the yes. Bullet Farm, and the, and that's really what yeah. I what I loved about Furiosa so much is like, oh, you're seeing these warlords and how they ascend to power and how they kind of interact with each other, and that was really interesting yeah. to me. Yeah, um, I I really fucking love Furiosa. I know a lot of people wrote it off like, oh, Mad Max isn't in it, or it's being considered a flop uh, because oh, it didn't really. It didn't perform as well as they expected, yeah. which oh. movie studios, I think, well, have such... What do such, they expect? Yeah, they it get, made $40 million. And they're like, yeah, it's not as good as we thought it'd do. I was like, well, I'd be happy with $40 million. Yeah. But again, <laughs> yeah. But again, this same thing happened with Fury Road. Uh, the thing is, is like we got further and further away from its opening weekend because it disappointed, too. It was like not in the... It wasn't number one or wasn't, you know, whatever. And uh, I remember that it was like, wow, disappointment, but... It got further and further from its opening weekend, and no one remembered that anymore. It was just like, no, this found its audience, and they fucking love it. Um, but I don't know what they expected from this. It's like, yeah, it's probably going to be the same situation. Yeah. Uh, and it was, but um, I haven't seen it, though. I didn't see it. I recommend it to everybody. I thought it was great. You've seen it three times. Yeah, I would I would gladly watch it two more times. It's streaming now, so yeah. You I, I got check it so out, yeah. into it. Chris Hemsworth, I think, is great in it. Mm-hmm. He has a fake nose. Yeah, 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 in the movie, prosthetic. I didn't recognize him in the movie. I was like, "Isn't Chris Hemsworth in this movie?" Mm. Oh, it's that guy, the yeah. fucking main character. They totally <laughs> downplay that prosthetic nose, and all the posters. I feel like, oh, yeah. they downplay that. It just yeah. looks like Chris Hemsworth in the posters. Oh. But then you watch the movie, and you're oh, like, "That makes sense." Oh, this motherfucker looks way different in the actual <laughs> movie. Yeah. They wanted that pretty boy movie star yeah. the <laughs> yeah, to get you by the ticket. Once that you've already sense. bought the ticket, you're like, "Who's this ugly fucking <laughs> warlord?" Like. This D- big Dr. Shaz. Demento or whatever his name is. What's his character? Dementus. Name? Yeah, he's Dr. De- Dr. Dementus. But he goes through changes. Ah! He's he's like the black Dementus, the red Dementus, the white Dementus. Mm. Yeah, he he's got a character arc because it follows Furiosa through like twenty years of her life or fifteen years of her life. So hmm. I just thought it was so interesting. I and really liked it. I think it hit all the notes because we have the existing Mad Max trilogy, right? And like. Uh, Fury Road was this great like revival of that yeah. and it hit a lot of notes from like you said mostly in my opinion Road Warrior 
Yeah. But then I loved how Furiosa went back and it started doing all this shit from the very first movie that I feel like was kind of left out. Like there were motorcycles mm. in Fury Road, but Dementis' gang is a motorcycle gang. Yes. That's the first movie with Toe Cutter. He's a motorcycle yeah. gang leader. Mm. And you have that whole arc. I feel like I got all of these little nostalgia bits that I wasn't getting from the first movie in mm. Furiosa. And mm. another thing I loved about Furiosa, when you watch Fury Road, it starts and it is like balls to the wall for the whole movie. It's yeah, like, yeah. wow, there's a lot. Ha- and then this happens and then this, this happens. Yeah. It just keeps going. Furiosa was kind of episodic. Yeah. Where these moments would happen and these battles would break out. And I'm like, well, shit, you could do a whole movie that's just this battle. And then it ends. You're like, fuck that it ends and then the it kind of affects the trajectory of the story and that happens multiple times throughout the movie so i liked how it was episodic they even say like part 1 part 2 oh, that's cool. part yeah, yeah. 3 like throughout the movie and you get a couple cool battles with different set pieces and stuff yes yeah. um so it felt bigger in my mind yeah uh cuz it went to all those places so i love george miller me I too. think he is my God and his tome is my Bible. Hey, he's been making these movies <laughs> for 35 years. And what other director is like, hey, part five, I'm still directing it. And it's arguably the best one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty not cool. a lot can say that. Have you guys seen, speaking of directors, the new M. Night Shyamalan trailer yeah. for the movie Trap? I, I actually, I know about it, but I have not watched any trailers. I've seen the trailer. Because I'm like, I'm going. I've seen oh, the trailer. Really it going. looks really cool. The trailer, it looks Fucking cool. I would say, if you haven't seen the trailer, it kind of gives away the twist. Yeah, so, so don't I, watch it, Rocco. If, yeah, you, if yeah. you're waiting I, I, think I, I think I know it already. Maybe I saw a teaser trailer oh. then, because I don't okay. know what the twist what, is. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe so there's you're right. Twist. There, There was a teaser trailer. It's like, oh, this is interesting. I wonder where this will go. And then there's an extended trailer. It's I like, saw that. Oh, that's what this is about. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't think that. that. I think that's probably that is probably known from the beginning of that movie. But, okay. But Maybe it, it doesn't still ruin might stuff. be fun to go in cold. Okay. Right. right well, right. anyways, I was watching this being like, dude, I love that this guy's still making movies. Yes. Like, and sometimes they really suck, but mm-hmm. I just really appreciate that. Like you're still, you're still doing dude, this. hundred percent. I just went and saw his daughter's first movie. I thought that was great. Was she in a movie? She directed like the watchers. The watchers. Yeah. Hmm. It's uh, something Shyamalan is her name, and that was, I think, the, her first yeah. thing. I mean, it's just like her dad's stuff. So. She's in the this. New, She's in it. What's his new? What is this new? Trap. Movie Trapped. 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 Yeah. Trapped. Uh, Trapped. Trapped. Like the band with the T. Uh, no. Um. But uh, yeah, she. I think she's a singer. I don't know if it's the same. Oh, really? Oh, wow. that's fun. But yeah. um. But anyway, uh. Yeah, there were people giving him shit this last week because the ratings came out. Yeah. And it's PG thirteen, and people were like. This is supposed to be horror. It's why it's not R. It's gonna suck. Yo, you're not a real shovel on head, okay? Yeah, yeah. Get with He's it. had PG thirteen on like most of his movies. Yeah, all right. Fine. Get with they just don't want like, they want like super gore or something like yeah, that. But exactly. it's like nah, I'm good. Yeah, go that, watch ain't, that ain't what it's all about. Go look at TikTok videos, people holding fireworks. Has he ever made an R-rated movie? Uh, uh, he has. Yeah, but I think split well, was I think, oh, yeah, I thought it was too. I thought, split. Split. I thought, split. I thought so. I think split, if if it is R rated, you're probably right, is because of the content, but not the violence. Mm-hmm. Probably just right. the, the yeah. story content. And there's yeah. that one, like the elevator with the devil or whatever. The, it's called the devil. The I devil. thought he just produced that, though. Oh, no, it's called elevator. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe No, it was called devil. It was devil. Yeah. yeah. I thought all, that was hard. All I know is I never saw that movie, but Brian would not stop laughing at There was a line, well, we have to consider the possibility the devil is in this elevator. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, movie. That, quoted that all the time. That movie sucked. Yeah. But yeah. I, don't, I don't think, but, he, again, I don't think he wrote but again, like, that. Uh, some of his movies are terrible, but I will always enjoy the ride. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. The happening. Old, hey, could we old? That movie sucked. Yeah. I, I, was, didn't, I didn't see that one. I was, I was laughing throughout The Happening that. is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. No, I, I like The Happening. That was like <laughs> so that bad. But that I had I was, such a good I had time. a good time. That's his comedy. Dude, yeah. old, old was good just for the memes that came out of that movie. Yeah. Just the phrase, the beach that makes you old. The fact that they named a rapper character Midsize Caravan. Mid-sized sedan. Or mid-sized sedan, yeah. It, just, it, had, it had some Sometimes he's in fucking stuff. mode. Yeah. 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 But, but I admire like, that. This ain't a real movie. This is a funny one. This is a fucking one. <laughs> it the, is funny. Yeah. Without giving away the twist of old, when it hit, when it explained what was happening at yeah. the end, I was like, fuck me. That should have been the movie. Like, I guess it was, but like, I would have preferred- More than the five minutes. I would have preferred a movie where they said that up front and it was about that. Oh, Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Okay. Like, I was like, that's a great concept. Should have done more the, with that. The whole movie, they're like, 
what's going on on this beach? Why are we trapped here? We're all turning old. What's going on? And then at the end of the movie, they explain what's going on. And yeah, that scientific could, explanation. Yeah. You're like, well, you could have started the movie with that. And I would, it would have been rad. Kind of, cared more about yeah instead of a bunch of people like why are we on this weird beach and now and you're pregnant now you weren't five minutes ago and i just i just felt like that went on and on and on i was enjoying it at the beginning but then it was like yeah you're all getting old got it uh but i i really enjoyed knock at the cabin like that was a oh that was, oh, like that was suspenseful wild. that was little movie i i, I enjoy that i was, really enjoy all this stuff that mm. was good that I one was that. based on a horror book yeah by uh i think paul tremblay Dude, that movie oh, okay. was wild. But uh, yeah. but the movie itself didn't strike me as a horror movie. You know? No, no, it was suspense. more just it's suspense. That's kind of yeah. what he does, though. It's like yeah. a suspenseful, suspense like, guy. and a lot that. of times, it's like a, this is a fucked up situation. What do we do? And that's, you know, there's horror, I guess, in there. Like, that's a scary thought, but it's not horror. The yeah. trailer for Smile 2 just came out. Did you see the first Smile? Yeah, I did. It was a generic horror movie okay. for me. I agree. Yeah. But that ending was cool. And now I'm trying to recall what the exact So the was. whole movie, <laughs> well, we're going to spoil the ending here. You, the, it's like the, the, some the thing invisible is chasing thing. Her. It's invisible, right? People smile. It possesses and, and people. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the movie, it reveals itself in this uh, cabin that she's in. And uh, I thought the, the, the movie was kind of derivative and just like, yeah, you're just ripping off every other horror movie ever made. Yeah, like and then follows, that ending, yeah, like. that ending hit. And I was like, well, that was the one original part for this whole, it kind of like, at the end of the day, I was like, well, I think I like that horror movie just for that final scene. Mm. I should, I should give it a, mm. I'm gonna end up seeing the sequel, I just know. Smile 2, the trailer just came out. It looks better. Uh. Now the main character is like a Lady Gaga style pop star. Yeah. And it's all like. Oh, I think I heard about this. Super stylized, like musical choreography, um, you know, mainstream world of pop. But now there's this, you know, the smile creatures infecting that world. It looks better than the first one, I think. Yeah. Every okay. time you you bring up the movie Smile, I think you're bringing up Smiley, which was a movie by, uh, it was a YouTuber who made a movie and it was like his head was just flesh with a smile carved into it. Oh, God. He looked like a smile emoji. Like, it's like a creepy pasta. Too many, too many smile themed horror movies. Yeah. And yeah. then and then the fucking Beach Boy guy, his smile. That's <laughs> Brian Wilson. Yeah. Mona Lisa horror smile. I just yeah. can't deal with that. Anyway. Horror, I, yeah. What's up? Let's frown. Yeah. Yeah. What about oh, frowning? That's my horror movie. Frown. Oh, okay. When they frown, you die. Mine is turn that frown upside down. So it's still a smile, but it doesn't oh, say it's it. It's kind of a positive affirmation. Yeah. 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 A lot of uh, interesting movies uh, out now and coming out. I also want to see Long Legs. Um, smile well, 2 is going to be well, out. Well, get ready for your fucking heart to burst out of his chest, <laughs> according to that trailer that I saw. <laughs> I would be happy if I, I luckily have seen nothing about it. And all I know is that they're just really not showing what. Nicolas Cage looks like they're in purposely this movie. showing very little from this movie, which is cool. I which like. is bold. It means, yeah. Hopefully, it's good. Sometimes I've been burned though. We be skin him a rink. <laughs> yeah, I watch a trailer and I was like, oh man, this looks so you know cool, and they're not really even showing much. And I watch as the most boring fucking yeah. movie I've ever uh, seen. Is this life. that kind of stuff, or like yeah, people are passing out and throwing up? So I hope theater. it's not okay. that kind of situation. And it's like, okay, this right. doesn't sell me on anything, <laughs> but okay. But we'll see. Yeah, well, <laughs> let me know. I'm dying to know what you have to say about it, but. I'll uh, be back with a review next week. All right, cool. All right, well, let's wrap it up there yeah, then. Sure. Do we have any goodies before we? Yes, we do. I knew it. Oh hey, we got goodies. It's been a while since I've been on this show. I forgot about that. Can you go get <laughs> Yeah, I'll grab them. If you want to, while you're grabbing those, I do, I want to give a shout out. Okay. Uh, on the way back from Anime Expo, uh, me and uh, Ke Kevin was there. Johnny was there. And we went to, uh, they just opened a Din Tai Fung at Downtown Disney. Oh. Uh, just outside of Disneyland. Yeah. We knew that opened up. So it's like, hey, on the way home, let's get food there. That sounds really good. Um, we went there. I want to give a shout out because not only was it a good ass meal, but one of the, one of the honchos at the restaurant came to the table his name is Michael. Michael. And he said, was the meal to your liking? Mm. By the way, I've sent over a couple extra desserts. And I'm going, is there like mob activity going on? Yeah, Why is this whoa, guy whoa. sweet talking to us? He's an internet soldier. Whoa. Michael at Din Tai Fung hooked it up. He had made it. We had a, such a good meal. I want to give a shout out. He made us feel so good. He was so nice. Johnny, would you say, wasn't he the nicest guy? Oh, yeah. He was great. He was the cool. Anyway, he made us feel so good. He gassed us up. He gave, you got us those dumplings. 
Thank you, Michael. Shout, Shout out, out Michael. Shout did out. they give you the employee discount? Yeah, we the, did. Tai Fung is a little pricey. Yeah. yeah. Well, we made it count. Nice. We made every dumpling. Count. You get what you pay for, Dude. though, man. It's tasty. Imagine it getting uh, hawk to it at Din Tai Fung. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I would accept it there. Hawk to that broth right at me. Hawk to <laughs> I, I love uh, how I actively hid those letters and Garrett found them. <laughs> Wait, yo, you don't yeah. want these? No, no, no. Yeah. Um, here. Well, when we have a pile of goodies, let's not put Rocco, the not <laughs> goodies in in the same oh, area. I, I hit them. <laughs> no, but they're on the same table. That's what I thought someone said. Like yeah, we got postcards, the, right? Away so from I, the other one. I actively went and looked for the postcards. Guys, so, off air, please. No, uh, just these two packages. Wait, I see a letter for Sean. That's a Ew. Sean on it. I never get goodies. I am you go nuts. always I, get goodies, mm, 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 which is amazing because you always beg for them. I know you like. I know. I know you like goodies. I know you like the Olympics. Please enjoy these goodies while we watch the summer games. Ugh. Oh come on! Why are you no, so upset? There was. Uh, I got uh, COVID at the convention. Did you uh, hear they're shitting in the river in yeah. Paris? No. Why? There's an organized they have to go. protest. Oh, protesting the, uh, oh, the Olympics. No. Oh jeez. Well, they're like displacing. People. Yeah, they're like, don't tell me the negatives. They're like, <laughs> they're like one they're thing. spending so much money to clean up Paris for the Olympics. We were like, fuck that, and they're shitting yeah. in the river. Well, they're kind of a bad. I, I, still on board. my least favorite thing on the wor in the world is saying like, I'm excited about something. Oh yeah, you shouldn't be excited, for, and to give me a reason why it's bad. Yeah. I'm sure there's bad things. Don't tell me. Let me just John, enjoy something well, in my you, life. You got to be conscious, you know, socially yeah. conscious. Let I'm, me be ignorant sometimes. I'm sometimes not gonna, I'm not going to spoil it from you for you, but I heard. Tell me if this is right. They want to do the water activities in the river. I don't know. They oh. don't want to build a pool. They want to build like nets at two ends of the river and actually like oh. have that clean enough. And those nets are collecting shit. Apparently. Or something. Well, swim. But a lot of the, uh, you haven't heard this though? Oh. A lot of the Olympians are like, I'm not swimming in that. He's blocking oh. you out. He is. He's not even paying attention. Notice how he's I not acknowledging us. Garrett. You don't even you're on the set. But anymore. this is real news about the Olympics. It's yeah, not a bad real, thing. Real shit. Is it? Hey, let me. You can open up your goodies. Isn't the Olympics always bad because they spend so much money and and uh, instead of helping out the world? Yeah. Well, I wasn't going. I think there. it's so safe to got, say. So we got Team USA Hershey Kisses. That's oh, fun. you don't want to eat those. But this is a problem, and this is going to be a problem for all Poli of us. Political problem. Oh, no. Reese's gold oh. medals. What? That's oh, better than a regular gold shit. medal. Hold on, though. Shit. First of all, this was just sent to Sean, so it's not going to be a problem. Okay, it's my You're the only one who gets it. That's yeah, it's going to be a problem for him because I'm not keeping my hands off. Yeah, of it's not like Lord Divius gives these Dang. out. They're yours. Oh, Divius just decreed. Oh, <laughs> oh. You know Do what? you see how many? Wait, oh, can I get a close up cam? Okay. There I is a wanna, trillion in here. There I just want to so say many. what Derek was saying about the Olympics is a, a little off base. They're a great organization. They get they cause the best oh, of the best. Didn't they like ruin Greece out. after the Greek Olympics? No, I they, don't, don't know. Have Greece. <laughs> a lot of times no, I do are, know like the, the stadiums go abandoned. <laughs> yeah, they spend like a trillion dollars to make the stadiums and they just turn into like abandoned waste. That is Akira, no. not my expertise i don't know i just like watching people you're compete. thinking you're thinking of the laugh olympics these I, are just the olympics the olympics um, cause the ethically nukes. and morally i cannot okay. eat this olympic no. branded candy uh that would just be okay, okay. Here, it, just, it just it just wouldn't you. wouldn't sit well you if get, you eat this you have a lot I, to weighing on your conscience just say i am okay. I'll, I'll get rid of it for you uh, thank you. Also, they said that they, uh, FYI, they have a friend who works at Hershey, so expect more gifts from oh! Hershey. Oh! So, we so this are, is also addressed to you. This is. What? Back to back. Dude, Can we get right. you to confirm right now when yeah. the Olympics are in LA, you won't go? No. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to run with a good. torch. Thank you. I'm running oh, with a torch. He is running. Ooh, he's, he's running. Yeah, but you okay. can't be a part of that organization. Whoa. He wants to happening? run with the torch. Know. Major cool League hat. Soccer? It's a cool hat. It doesn't even say... New era? That's legit. It doesn't even say New Era makes but it's him an with MLS the rope? hat. That's cool. Guys, he already has a Padres hat. Nice. They make, Look at this. Nice. I didn't know they do the rope. Cool. Yeah, like the rope. The on new eras, they actually do the That's sailor cool. rope. That's yo, this I'm gonna wear this until we get our own MLS team, which is next year, but I'm gonna wear this until Minted. Then. for Charlotte? Charlotte, baby. Nice. Is that North thank Carolina? You. There's They're, no note with it, but thank you very much. Soccer on boats now. Are they what? It's a it's a boating hat. It, yeah, it looks very yeah. nautical. You kicked well, the ball now on the we ocean. can end the podcast because I got my goodies. <laughs> I got you. my treats and my hats. Thank you. Wait, is that all, all the most. goodies? Yeah. Jesus Christ. You, yeah. Well, Johnny said don't read the letter. You got your own goodie right here. I tried. That's the one goodie I bought at Anime Expo. That's it. That one figure. It's I, a goodie. I, can, I, was, I saved myself. 
dun 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 looks just like the real gold dun 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 oh yeah the outro song we're still working on displacing the poor is this a joke dun 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 oh it's from it's from scott thank you thank you for the hat he said stay hydrated stay hydrated I don't, dun, 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 I don't know that dun, they go dun, together. Dun, dun, dun. Committing a lot of fraud. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs>